Welcome to the Wicked Radio Network. Star Wars, nothing but Star Wars. Give me the Star Wars, don't let them end. Ah, Star Wars, if they should bar wars, please let these Star Wars stay and pay. How about that nutty Star Wars bar? Can you forget all the creatures in there? And hey, Darth Vader in that black and evil mask. Did he scare you as much as he scared me? Ah, Star Wars! Those near in Star Wars! My seventh winner up here! Star Wars! Recorded to you live from the unisex bathroom on the Millennium Falcon. This is the Wicked Theory Podcast. Yeah, man. That was sweaty. That was coming from deep space. Brother Melt your face off. All right, that was Brother Bob playing guitar. And then uh, I got my buddy Dom over hey, here. You heard up, him. What's up? And we also got a special guest. We got my buddy Leo hanging out with us. What up, suck it? Say hello to him. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's how you do it. I was trying to say, like, say hello to America or, you know, maybe like a very <laughs> we small. Have some international from the NWA uh, of the WWE. Sorry, I just jump right in. Sorry. That's all right. That's all right. It's that kind of show, man. It's that kind of show. Trying to get the mic adjusted. Hello. That's good. There you go. You're doing all right. There it's you picking go. you up, man. Don't yeah. worry about it. All right, well, I really appreciate you coming in. No you problem, hanging out with us. Anything for a brother swing. Oh, my man, we got a special episode all lined up, and uh, you're wearing the attire from top to bottom. You're rocking gotta the, represent. Star, yep. the Star Wars gear right now. Got to represent. The original, mm-hmm. what does that say? The original The Witcher. original Iron Man. Oh, the ori- with the Darth Vader on right, the front. Sure, I like that. Nice. I like that. You got to worship the, the good guys, right? I mean, all the, the bad guys, I guess. Eh. Yeah, I don't see you rocking any Luke stuff. Nah, I don't see how you look at it. The Luke should go about, you know. It's a story, man. It's a story. Nobody rocks. Well, it's nobody he is the original Skywalker. That's true. I mean, you, you know, know, he started it all. He but, was uh, the Jedi, so you know. Yeah, I guess you know. No one really rocks any Luke stuff. It's just a shame, poor and, Luke. And I'm glad they don't because that would be fucking. Just some random awesome. blonde kid, yeah. gay, <laughs> wearing a karate gi, wearing his karate. Come on, we all know Star Wars all about Darth Vader. That's it. Basically, well, that's it's all about the dark side. It's all about the other side of when you. It comes down to it. It kind of really all yeah. is. It's the all first about. three, you know, are definitely all about him. And then the next three They're is all about him. It's all about everyone dealing with his bullshit. Mm. Yeah, so I well. guess that's a fair point. Leo, you got to do a background gate, story. At the gate, Leo's making some fair points. There I like you it. go. Yep. I'm down. I like it. So you're working out pretty good. Yeah, see? All right. My stick keep me around. Maybe. Well, let's not push it. All right? Well, it depends let's if I want to come back or not. Let's yeah. see how the show. Not really, what you want? That's true. That's true. It's more about what I gotta I throw want. the. I, I would have to throw it to you, and then you're like, man. You have to coax me over here. You what's know? the contract like? That's how right. much am I getting? That's right. That's okay, right. Well, you know, you got an agent yet? Not yet, but I could be my my own agent. There you go. Represent yourself. <laughs> Hell's yeah. Everybody else does it. Sure, why not? Right. Make tons of money. If anyone's gonna fuck it up, might as well be you. <laughs> if I start it, I fuck it up. Hey, good for me. <laughs> all right. So, big thanks for you coming. I've known Leo all my life, and uh, that's about enough of that for introduction. And uh, super Star Wars fan. So we all went and saw Star Wars, kids. Man. And we're gonna get all into that shit. The fun of that. And then wait, uh, discuss I, I, stuff. Wait, what, what, what I thought happened? we were all seeing the chipmunk movie. Ah, uh, see, I knew we should have actually kept an eye on you. <laughs> you went to the wrong theater, huh? You hung out with the chipmunks. That's, yeah, yeah, right. that's where I, I did. I did sneak into Star Wars afterwards. Though oh, I was right. in the same area of the theater. Okay. They didn't check my ticket well, again. So, so why need to sit down? I did to still see it. I hope why you, you to sit stuff. down. Come on. You know, I hope you caught all the good parts, though. All right, so before we get into all this stuff, the official business, as usual, is to subscribe, rate, and review. If you're a fan of the show, you listen to the show on any of your uh, devices, and those devices let you do that. Hey, hook us up. Send money, send money. You can send money to Mm -hmm. P.O. Box 666 Satan Street. Um, But no, seriously. Don't listen to Lou, New York. And then subscribe, rate, review, whenever you can see that stuff. We like that stuff. Check out Preacher vs. Preacher. That's the other podcast that we're setting up, getting rolling. You know what I mean? Hoping some people will check that out. That's on iTunes. And uh, it's on the lips and stuff. If you're on the, the lips and servers and 
up on that stuff. It's on and Twitter then, uh, at uh, Preach vs Preach. That's correct. That's true. Mm-hmm. We do have a Twitter account for that. People can check that out. Uh, sometimes I actually get on there and do stuff. But we got some lag. Well, we got some lead time before the show starts. So we got a ton yeah. of. You know what I mean? It's. I, I feel like I got too yeah. much room. Maybe. You know, well, it's, I, it's good because it's homework time because we all got to reread the the preacher before it starts. Good point. I'm almost Bob. done, guys. So, yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, good. That's why don't you explain for us people that don't know what you're talking about. So we preacher versus preacher. Well, preacher versus preacher is, is uh, it's our other podcast. We're gonna we have one episode up already. Okay, but it's going to be a companion show to the TV series Preacher that's going to come okay. to AMC this May. Right. Okay, and then uh, you know we're going to compare the show to the books that it's based on. Yeah, uh, we're, we're, right. we're all big right. fans of the comic that it's based on. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. It's crazy, pretty outrageous yeah. story. So we're going to see just how much they follow it. I'm going to yeah. have to check that out. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Man. The Preacher show, at least you should check out. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. But, uh, definitely. But uh, you can check out the podcast too. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah maybe you know maybe it's going good so far. Well, this one is. <laughs> well, I you know. Well, you know. Some people may uh, beg to differ. But. So you know, there's always somebody, but uh, begging to yeah. differ. So uh, boo on them. Boo on them. <laughs> so you can also send us uh, email at podcast at wickedtheory dot com because we're a podcast and we are at wickedtheory dot com. That's true. That's true. Hey, if you check it out too on the wickedtheory dot com, I figured out how to put a little player up in the corner, okay? So you can actually listen to episodes right there on the website. No You're, shit. No shit, bro. It was probably there so the whole the, time. So, I just so, didn't know. So the website there. is MySpace now. Basically, that's exactly how it felt. Right. Uh, <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm new here. <laughs> they gave me a microphone. Oh my so, god! So uh, anyway, yeah. So check it out. You know, you know, it's a train wreck, bro. You've listened to a couple of episodes, right? I know, I know. But just being here, it's a little different. It's a little you different. Know? It's like, yeah, you know, it's a different vibe all of a sudden. Yeah, the whole thing. Just my voice. I can hear it. It it's sounds the headphones, weird. The headphones, microphone in your face. Yeah, I got Bobby melting my yeah. face over yeah. there on his <laughs> magic axe. He's you know? randomly I, like, just. I, actually, I've been thinking about that all day. Like, what's Bobby so, gonna play? So your brain right, is right, melting right, right now. Yeah, that's basically what you're saying. Yeah, we should have had Bob come up with the theme for you. What you're saying is we're a replacement for psychedelic drugs. Never. There's no. no there's, there's not, we can't measure up to <laughs> nah, that. No, no, no. I take the 90s. I was hoping to get an day. ad for the show out of that one, you know? Well, Bring the 90s back. I could probably isolate Don't that. Don't do drugs. Thing. Listen, Just listen to the W. Uh, uh, WTPC. Oh, you did too many. Now you can't even go. Uh, <laughs> WTPC kind of sounds like a psychedelic drug. It does. It does. These kids are all hopped up on the WTP. See. See. <laughs> so, um, Leo. You said that you've heard a couple yes. episodes. You're, um, have yes. you heard, have you have you ever heard us give a quiz? No. Well, too bad, buddy, because that's what we do. We're first timers. Oh, jump right out the gate. We just right out the gate. We get quiz it out of the way. Up. We get it out all of the right, way, man. Right, so, like you know, I'm probably going to fail. This is, here's the idea, bro. It's basically a bunch of questions, but we kind of stack them. As best as we can figure, like what's easy, medium, and hard. Granted, okay. you may not remember certain stuff off the top of your head, but hey, you know, maybe maybe we'll uh, help you cheat a little bit, you know, all for right, old sure. times' sake. You know what sure, I mean? Sure. So, do you it feel is, it is the holidays? Right. So maybe we'll be good to you. There you go. During the holidays, but not the rest of the year. Uh, yes. Because that's always killing me when people say stuff like that. Oh, it's the holidays. Be nice. Yes, be nice. Like, well, right, well, what about the rest of the year? I got a free well, pass to the be the rest an of the year. You treat me like shit. So the holidays, you got to be nice to me. Good enough. There you that's go. What I'm saying. All right, so how do you feel about this quiz? Are you ready? Sure. Are you psyched up? You ready to go? You ready for question yeah, number yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, do question it. Question number one, Leo. What was the Ewoks' planet? Endor. Close enough. We'll take it. It was the moon of Endor, but it's always a trick question. Right? All right. Oh, I didn't know it was like Jeopardy. No, no, it's not. It's not really, but I'll just that's, clarify. That's correct. That, that's, that's, correct. That's, yeah. you know, that's correct enough. That's what we're saying. You know, right, we we right. give those kinds of, like, you know um, what I mean? Like, we, we got some wiggle room for you. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. For other wiggle. people, not so much. Oh, good, good, good. You know? That's uh, the holiday spirit. All right, these are, these are, these are not going to be all Star Wars, but uh, I'm starting you off with a couple Star Wars to soften you in because you're a big you Star Wars fan. You got it. What color was Yoda's lightsaber? Green. That's correct. Two for two. You might be doing the best right at this point. <laughs> you might be the best. Even if contestant. I tank the rest of it, right. I'm good well, to go. Well, at least at two. Like, you, know, you are two for two. That is like a record right oh, there. Oh, my Lord. All right. That's good. Um, in the video game Legend of Zelda, oh, who the boy. hell is Zelda? What do you mean by who is she? Like, who is she? Like, you know. What, what, what did she do? Who, well, like, who, like in the, yeah, in the she's game. like a fucking elf or something, right? Well, yeah, it, I, I don't really. Uh, you're thinking that's the character she, that you she, play? Is she links baby, da- uh, baby mama? Oh or... wait, wait, no, <laughs> no. Is it... <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> um, who is Zelda? Yeah. 
I don't know. She's it's the princess. The, she's the princess. Yeah, yeah she's yeah. the princess. That's kind of what we were That's looking the, for. Oh, okay. Most people That's think the one that you got to play to win. Link. You got to save. Yeah, right, right. But because it's because he said Link, he knew that Link was the other guy that you actually play as. Right. Bobby said Link. I thought. No, no, he said Link. You said Link. Half point. Half point. Half, so, so. half point. Yeah. Half point. All right, all right. We'll go to half point. Nah, it's all right. I'll take the zero. It's all right. All right. All right. I just didn't. Nah, we'll, okay. we'll go with it's the cool because the, the last question is usually worth a couple extra points. Nice. Mm, there's a little something on, extra there going go. on there. Deal or no deal. All right. Now we're into what uh, maybe the medium section okay. here a little bit, buddy. Can you name all the members of the A team? Oh shit. Okay. So there's uh, B. A. Baracus. That's true. Murdoch. Hannibal. And uh, what's that guy's name? Is Face. He? Yes! 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 <laughs> you were fucking breaking all kinds of Woo! fucking records for this fucking there you show. Go. That's I, fucking can't, it. I, I can't believe it. Anything to help you out, Bill? Oh, we brought the right guy. Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. On the Fresh Prince, what is the name of the family? Fam- Banks. Uh, thank you. This way I didn't have to finish it. Mumble it more. <laughs> this dude, he, bro, we're going to have to have you back up. Huh? <laughs> and give you another quiz. Yeah. Even though we're not supposed to. <laughs> what is the name of Popeye's baby? Oh, I don't know. Um, is it Pee Wee? No. If um, it's even really his kid. I don't even know if it's really his kid. Or if it's fuck. Like, what if it's just... I, I, just always, Ugh, I always just this? thought it was olive oils. I didn't really think it was, had anything to do with him. And he was always like worried <laughs> it's about Pluto's the Pluto's kid. That's what I was just going to say. I think it's <laughs> Pluto's and, and he's Popeye's just that guy. the sucker. Yeah, yeah he's Popeye's that guy. He's that guy. He's Thanks just... a lot, ladies. <laughs> All right, I'll take care of your kids. Uh, what the hell is it? What are your kids? Shit, I know the name of that kid. It's not fucking Pee Wee. You're, you're in the ballpark there, buddy. You are yeah. right. You are right there. Mm-hmm. You are very warm right now. I don't know. I'm you are so I'm far thinking. at half point. I'll give you a half point oh, if man. you want to abandon and move on oh, and just say, man. "Hey, nah, I, ah, let's keep it moving." Sweet pea, sweet pea. There sweet. you go. Oh, sweet pea. I know some do pea. There you go. You were close. So that makes up a whole point now. You are, uh, you know, you you made up the other half on that one. Nice. We're into what I'm thinking is the hards, buddy. How many? Because I know you watch some of these Avengers cartoons. Okay. And you've seen some Avengers movies. Absolutely. How many infinity, infinity gems slash stones are there? Five. That's correct. This guy's fucking <laughs> killing it. Fire. Killing it. <laughs> um, all right. What was the name of the wizard school that Harry Potter went to? Oh. Those who are playing at home might realize that I've Come recycled on. some questions so that you too can Harry see Potter. if uh, Leo's really been listening to the uh, show. Otherwise, this he... might be the easiest hard question of yeah, the entire show. It's like show. cobble some shit. Cobble. Um, cobble pot. Cobble, cobble cock academy. Cobble. Yeah, cobble cock academy. <laughs> <laughs> Where all the wizards go. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Come on. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Go. All yeah, right. Well, that's that's uh, that Hogwarts. Hogwarts. There you Hogwarts. go. Hogwarts. Pig blisters. We, yeah, well, we I was thinking about was Disney. America. That's what I was thinking about Disney. Like, what was the the train ride you got on in Disney? Well, it was interesting. You came yeah. with Cobble Pot because yeah. Cobble Pot is actually the penguins. Well, the penguins. Yeah. 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 Penguins yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, I'm so not there's sure. There's some nerd in you somewhere. All right. This is the, 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 the technically this is the hardest question on here. Okay. All right. You may, but I'm still not doing so bad. But you just <laughs> slamming it tight. Aces, bro. I know. Like I might have to give you an award on top of nice. you, on top of letting you go to the prize round. Woo! Um, you don't even need the tenth question to, to finish right. this out. But number nine is true or false? Richie Rich's dog was named Cash. Dollar. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I knew if anybody would ever get that, it would probably be you. That's crazy. Leo, question number ten. Yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm a little annoyed about the Hogwarts, so. That's all right. It's all right. It's You're all right. not really a big guy for yeah. that. It's, uh, you know, that's one of those ones. It was in there, though. That's what I mean. Somebody like I said earlier, it's always better to be in my head. <laughs> number ten, Leo. What? On the old Batman and Robin TV series, Uh-oh. the old '66 with Adam Morris. Okay. Um, who was Bruce Wayne's aunt? Uh, she was always she was always chilling at the house, uh, doing their laundry or something. Harriet, that's correct. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Holy correct. shit! That question wow. number ten is the one good that makes job, up all bro. the difference. Good, good ground. Wow. Give a fucking high five to Leo. Leo, fucking. We don't, I don't clap for anybody on there my fucking go. show. You know what I mean? See? Wow. How it's about a new you? day. It's a new day. It's a new day. Leo, the last. It's wicked, man. <laughs> 
It's unbelievable. I Leo. think uh, I think we should just give Leo the. I should the, just give the him good the, box. The, the good box. Yeah, don't right? the, yeah just make because sure, he's, he's earned that. He's earned, earned that right. You were the first you know? guy to ever just Every, get the gift. <laughs> All right, we don't we don't have to go through the dance. Let's just yeah. see. Well, well before you yeah. open that, before you open that, there's nothing in the red box. That's because he knew I was gonna blow it out the box. You were destined to get that. Oh shit, we got a T-shirt. We got a Star Wars T-shirt. Oh shit! Wow. Right. You actually Love fucking it. won something, That's too? That's like the best prize yeah. we've ever had, too, I think. Yeah, I think I'm glad is. I gave him that shit because uh-huh. fucking he I earned that. Bro. Yep. If you had gotten three shirt. questions... Let me see the, let's let see, see let's the no shirt. Way, let's no talk about the shirt. I though. didn't even see what it looked like. going to try to steal it on me. Oh. <laughs> this is what the back looks like. <laughs> okay. The back is black. <laughs> and here's the front. Okay. Lead the way. Lead the way. Join today. It's the Stormtroopers, some TIE Fighters, and Darth Vader in profile. Yeah, like the propaganda looking old We want you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The Japanese. Join the uh, dark side. Oh man, Leo. It's definitely a little you bit of a Japanese influence. You had nothing to fucking even worry Absolutely. about, man. Yeah, that was I was great. all nervous on the way here. That was great. I was like, I don't know what it quizzes me, and I, I don't test well. It's been a long time. Yeah, you know, I was going to give you. I was trying to think of like a math one, like you know, the three Donald Duck's three uh, Donald Duck's nephews plus the something else, arrows. right? Like you would have had to pull out three kids from this six Brady Bunch kids, you know, uh, this right. kind yeah, of thing. But yeah. I was like, nah, I don't want to do that to you. Save that for the next time. Exactly, there give it to go. somebody else. Yeah. But you don't. Well, ever now have next time you come, we have to give you a harder test. No, so well, right. technically, no, right. the rule is that it's first time only. After this, if you ever come back, you don't have to take a quiz again. One and done. Huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. yeah. This, well, it makes so it easier on me. I passed really into is. the Wicked Theory family. You are within the. You are yes, definitely absolutely. in the circle. You're nice, definitely in the circle. nice. You're definitely made it to the prize round. Feel special. You got. The, you earned that fucking prize. Not to insult anybody else. Just, I think, just coming on the show makes you part of the family. You know what I mean? Oh, and even if you listen to the show yeah. regularly. If but, I let uh, you, if I let you in, he's he's like he's like a gold member of the family. Now. So this guy is a gold member you know? of my family, basically as it is. So. Oh, that's true. You know that's, what true. I mean? that's true. So, Leo, that's true. That is definitely true. You now have a gold member. He's a he's a gold, nice. gold card membership at the Wicked Theory Laboratory. Love the Sweeney's gold member. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. So let's get into it, kids. They had a movie came out this week. Uh, a little movie, little thing. Yeah, I little, guess little, biggest movie of little, all time. Little maybe. budget. Uh, I don't know. Made a couple of bucks. Yeah, kind of flew under the radar. You might have seen a little bit of the merchandising somewhere. Yeah. You might have seen it on your Campbell soup. You might have seen it on your French vanilla creamer. Your ice cream. Definitely. Your, your ice cream, if you ever want to know what C-3PO tasted like. <laughs> you can have two scoops of R2-D2. You can buy a Fiat that's for the dark side or the light side. You probably can. Probably get a, you can get your car wrapped. Like, you know, with the no. big No, no, they're and, actually selling one. There's a special yeah, edition I've Fiat. Dodge, on TV. Dodge put out an entire line of uh, Stormtrooper. Uh, Vipers? You know, like versions of all their cars, pretty much. Oh, God, Lord almighty. I mean, it's there. not like... I mean, it's like the, it kind of looks. Like, it looks a little Ish. bit like resembles the helmet a little bit, right, but just, right, it's right. a white car with like this black like you know, strip that comes over like both okay. sides mm-hmm. of the tire. They kind of so position kinda, it just right yeah, to kind of yeah, resemble. Yeah. The, I got you from a but, certain angle. Yeah, but they're nice, right. expensive cars. Well, I bet you they are. You know, if you got some so uh, yeah, Star Wars: The Force Awakens. It has awoken. It has, and it's uh, put, put, it's it's looking quite refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> the nap did it good. It's something like that. Yeah. Hey, John so Williams over here. All right, all right. Well, let me point out for the kids listening at home, they heard on the way in, because that's the clip I'm going to put in. You guys haven't heard it, but I'm mm. going to put in the little Bill Murray Star Wars mm. clip. Nice. Okay. But if they stay tuned, they can hear I- Oscar Isaac, star of The Force Awakens, playing some guitar and playing his little soft version of oh, really? uh, the same tune that Bill Murray sang. And okay. so... Uh, GQ put it up online and I saw it, so I'm like, I'm ripping that, putting that in the episode. That's that's <laughs> that's the uh, middle section. So what we're gonna do is we're cool. gonna talk some non-spoiler kind of stuff up front. Just give some overall, you know, uh, rundowns and uh, impressions and opinions before we really get into the spoiler stuff and start really, mm. you know, making, the, you know, everybody get a little jittery. And so if you want to hang tough, hang tough for now. But uh, we'll uh, let you know when we get into the, all the spoiler stuff. We'll, we'll give you a decent warning, back. too. Not like we usually do. Yeah, where we'll it's like, it, you know, spoiler. Oh, my God. Everyone died. A warning. A warning. A spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. All right. Save that for I gotta try it, I got to try and isolate that now. <laughs> and I'll have a little something I can drop in. Yeah. That's a good job, Bob. That's a good job. That's a good job. Thank um, you very much. Thanks I'll, for I'll, cooperation. 
Thanks for being a part of the show. Yeah, uh, I like that. Yeah, thank, nice. you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Whatever. Yes. Latka. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's kind of like kick it around a little bit. I mean, everybody liked it, obviously. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. It was a good movie. I think it's I think it's solid. I think, it, you know, it obviously is kind of, I don't know, mm-hmm. it, 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 you know, it. It, it does everything it needs to do. It I'm didn't sorry. do anything anybody was worried about. I think is yeah. important no. and an important thing. Right. Like, the only thing I think they should have yeah. just just straight out the gate mm-hmm. left out was that return love scene. That was kind of like they were uh, like photo cropped in there or something. Which, like they weren't uh, even there. Which one? Between uh, oh, when, when uh, between Leia's hold when, when he's no, like just, Leia. just oh, between uh, Han Solo and Leia the whole yeah. thing. They should have right, just right. got rid of that. When they were just like, hey, I remember you. Yeah, like, hey, I remember yeah you. the whole thing. It, it seemed like, to me uh, like they were just like yeah. digitally put in there, like they weren't even there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. They were home in their wheelchairs, and uh, they just well, stacked them in there. There was, there was a few moments that kind of felt like that for me yeah. because uh, – just because the, well, Han, Han Solo was starting to look a little geriatric. Yeah. He started to move a little geriatric. Well, he's showing it. He's showing yeah. it. He's de- him, you know, the two of them are definitely showing it. Mm-hmm. They were obviously the older ones. Yeah, they ones. had to put putty, they putty knifed her. Man. <laughs> they they, I mean, they did a lot of work, I think, yeah. on the both of them, maybe in the digital cleanup a little bit on the faces. Yeah, you know what? And that's okay. A little, that's you know, okay. They, they get, you get fine. older, that's fine. You know? uh, it was all about a you check do for what that. You gotta do. They just diff- wanted a check. They should just cut him a check and cut him out <laughs> and put them in as younger. Right, like they do with all these other movies, yeah. and just made them younger looking, where they didn't look so old and right, right, like. Right, right. And that, that just, I swear to me, when I was watching it, and we watched it in three D, I must say, we when we were watching it, it was like, wait, they weren't even there. I'll say it again, they weren't even there. It was right. like they were, you know, in their houses, wherever they live, with the green screen, moved three feet, <laughs> or had those balls <laughs> all over them. Just to, just doing it for the nursing home. Yeah, yeah. The nursing home, like, you know, with a, hooked up to an Xbox uh, or something. Just the nurse, they, yeah. they just turned the nurses in the background into stormtroopers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they could just do it. You know, it's a good point. Nowadays, you could just do, they could do all anything. of your work yeah, out of your true. own basement. Yeah, you Set really up a can. green screen. Get a, you got enough money. Get uh, enough yeah. camera. Really? Eddie Murphy did all his recording for the last couple of Shrek movies like in his own basement supposedly yeah. he didn't even go anywhere yeah. you know well, all I mean? you need is a good laptop and, That's the uh, and the the future, microphones right? you know it's all digital so That's it's just it, a matter you know? of making sure you have quality equipment to begin just with just you and JJ at the house hanging yeah. out you don't have to have the whole crew I mean I know some guys they're doing a podcast and all they're using is a bunch of microphones and a laptop two clamshells and a piece of rope yeah you know what I mean two so. turntables and a microphone so but uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad everybody actually liked it. I'm glad. No, yes. other than that, I had yes. not one complaint of it. I mean, I mean you know, I got no complaints. Thought, there's you know? a couple of nitpicks. There's yeah, this, nitpicks. Yeah, well, okay, that's, that's that, everything. Yeah, that, that yeah. was. That's everything. Know. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, we, we, we could sit here and pick it apart, and we probably will a little bit. But overall, like even the level, it of, did everything it should have done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It hit all the key points yeah. that every geek and nerd was looking for. Oh, definitely. And it, it made sure it was familiar but new. Right. Yeah. You and know? even I just want to say, even like for this movie, that's fine. Even like the number of nitpicks is low. Yeah. Like, you know, if anything, it's like not like. Right. You got new owners, new directors, new production, everything. So yeah. they in, they had to make sure that they, they got a movie right. Whatever yeah. that movie ended up being, they had to make sure they got it right. So they probably went back and they said, okay, what do we have to do? Yeah. What, do we, what are the key things we need to have for this to be Star Wars? And then from there, they started filling in the blanks. Yeah. yeah. Well, you it know? does kind and of feel that it way. It does kind of feel that way, but that's fine, too, because this, like I said, it's a new owner. You got to make sure you get it right. Now, yeah. from here on out, now they can do pretty much whatever they want within the core material. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and then expand from there. Well, that's the part of it too. They left enough wiggle room with yeah. a lot of the questions right. that they posed, where yeah. it's like some things are just posed as questions that don't even have a hint of right. what the reason is. Right. Like you know what I mean? But um, right. because you, you got to remember too, Disney's looking at this as five billion dollars spent. They're going to have to get any, everything they can out of the franchise. Yeah. But if there's any, oh they're making money yeah. oh absolutely they're making money. if there's right. any Man. Fran- if there's any franchise that you can get a ton out of this is it because oh, you, you got an entire universe literally but the pressure's off yeah. now was a big thing you know yes. what I mean obviously they yes. they, 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 JJ sh- did they a good job for the fences they fucking oh he definitely did a good job yeah. everything the, was this know, thing's just that one part records. like irked me when like when we left the movie theater yeah. I was kind of like mm. the love story sucked in it like yeah. it was like even when like the when well, they told the, but, but when they told the love story to Anakin and Amidala, right, 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 that was actually a nice story. 
You know, mm-hmm. it didn't make me want to like get up and run out the theater. No, no. When, but when they had the parts, there. but when they had the parts with them, like with the, oh, you remember me? Oh, like, God. get the fuck out of here! Oh, it was God. like, yeah, I you, you know. No, I thought you were talking about either one of them. No, even, yeah, well, both even, of them. Though even, the way they were acting, it was like that, that whole part. They should have told that story differently. Even mm-hmm. the um, like stuff with fucking like maybe maybe the, they should have been separated or something. <laughs> like, you know, maybe they should, he should he could have. Well, they you know what I'm saying? Well, they have to get them back together. That's the thing. They got to put them back together at least for a minute or two. Obviously, once you know more of the story, there's there is a reason to actually have them have a conversation. Yeah, that they I, have to I, have. I, I get that. So, but like, it, what's it going to be? What's it, I, you know I'm going mean? to say. Well, I'm going to say the end of that. Into it. Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, just going to say too, too into it. All right, yeah, but, but the end of that story. Yeah. Corn. Oh, absolutely! It. it didn't you know work. I mean? yeah. Even as a thing where it's like reunited and, if, and it's like all oh, good to see you, didn't really work. Yeah. It, it felt mm-hmm. a little stiff and stuff like yeah. that. I'd definitely give you that. That stuff is probably some yeah. of the stuff that feels less realized, all about a check, and considered than exactly. I thought Carrie Another Fisher post. as a whole was fucking brutal throughout the it entire was rough. movie. It was yeah, a rough. yeah, she was. She was a little rough. I thought but Han was she's, great. She's become more like her mother as well, she got older. She's, well, she's yeah. become more and more wacky. Well, that's the you thing. Know, that seems to ex- be let's, put, let's just say eccentric. Yeah. We also got so we also got like a lot of new characters and stuff like that. We've how do you guys feel about some of those new mm-hmm. faces? You feel like all oh, these guys they, like they work. Like yeah, um, I, I was having a little bit of a hard time with Finn at first. Yeah, but just, eventually, just, just because of the whole stormtrooper concept is new to me. You know, right, it sure. used to be all based off of Boba Fett, but now right. now this they're pulling them off of planets suddenly. Right, 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 right. That's new to me, that concept. So for me to believe him mm, a little bit, I have a little bit of an issue. Not, not a lot. Things, not the, a lot. The thing, it's, a, the, it's a niggling thing for me. Mm-hmm. The thing a lot of people forget is that it's a whole different order now. Right. It's, right. Um, you know, it's not the Empire mm-hmm. anymore. It's hardly um, even like built from their ashes in a way. Like, you know, yeah, it's like these... Yeah. these What's always amazing yeah, to me is that, like, you know, like, in Star Wars, it's, like, it's incredible resources they have. Like, mm. even if it's, like, this up-and-coming new order that's, like, building itself up, but we happen to have a giant weapon that's, you know, exceedingly Larger big. than a planet. Well, and don't don't, uh, don't get into it too much yet. No, no, no. But, in case, your, 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 back to your point, back to your point, that, uh, you know, it's, it's not the same setup, so yeah. everybody kind of having a, an adjustment thing with... The stormtroopers more general right. than Bob does. Bob's not as as broad a uh, doesn't have a broad as issue as some other fans. No, do. Of other course. fans are just up yeah, in arms. That like that's like saying you just took out Boba Fett. Like you know, like mm. no one liked the idea at first of Boba Fett being the right. clones, and now everybody's used to it. So now we change gears, and it's like, well, now no one what you don't like right. that now. Well, was it Boba? It wasn't Boba. It was Django. Well, Django, right? Django, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Django, Boba's father. Yeah. yeah. Not to spoil that, but. Yeah. I yeah. hope you've seen that, that, that by yeah, now. Right oh, yeah. That, well, you know what? If, <laughs> well, if you didn't see if that you, by now, you're not yeah, going to see say, the new you know, one. We're not going to spoil The Force Awakens for you, but we're going to fucking spoil the shit out of the other oh, fucking geez. six movies. Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen them, Oof. sorry. Oof, those are, the those have been show. out for a while. So, so But, uh, yeah, I, I, I liked um, you know, mo- most of the characters. I had a problem with a few of the new characters that I thought I was really going to like a lot. Okay. Um, you know, I thought... You know, I can't really get too much into the reason why right now. I'll I'll come back to it later when okay. we get to the spoiler section. But I hated Kylo Ren. Okay, thought he All was right. terrible. Wasn't really work- fucking wasn't disappointed me. No, he was a lot. He, he was a lot. He was a disappointment to me too because yeah. I was expecting Darth Vader and I was getting. You know, he was better than Anakin in terms of like yeah, whininess but, and bitchiness. Right, right, uh, right. Just I think just because the actor is, is a little bit better, better uh, than the actor that played Anakin. Fair enough. Uh, well, but. You know, you know. but know. he was still a whiny, about that. whiny uh, bitchy yeah. kid. Of course. You know? Well, See, I think the that's thing, the thing where, where where they got away with Anakin, um, where you're saying whiny bitchiness is because yeah. you knew what he became. Right. This guy, you have no idea what he's going to become yet. Right, right, right. So, you know, he's, of course, he's a crybaby. Oh, no, you're right. He's fighting in, you know, good light and dark side right. and, you know, goodness and. Well, it turns out. You know, the, and yeah. no one knows really what made him. Fair enough. That's and, true. Um, we still don't even have to see in this one. That's one yeah. of the... Uh, well, but that'll yeah, probably yeah. That's, and, and that'll probably all be revealed in the next movie. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. I mean, my we'll point of, of not yeah. liking... Well, I, got, I, got you, clear, I got what you're saying. You know what I mean? For the, yeah. I, have, I had a problem I think, with him, too. I think we all know there is. No, I had a problem with him, yeah. too. I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we'll, we'll delve into that a little bit more. But, um... Even, uh, you know... Uh, How about BB-8? BB-8 was Did you great. have a problem with BB-8? BB-8 was great. BB-8 was cool. I thought, BB-8 was yeah. like too adorable. Target, I think. BB-8 yeah. was, yeah. was adorable. Yeah, he was like he was a little bit like R two D two light. 
I felt like he was R two D two like overload. Well, I felt like now he has R two D two with a cockable head like a puppy. Like you know what I mean? Uh, so not only do I yeah, make yeah. a noise, but now I get to kind of turn my head at a sixty five degree angle and be like, "What you said?" Mm. Like you know what I mean? Or right. whatever. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, I'm being silly, right. but I mean that's basically it. Yeah, yeah, it's like right. it's very emotable. It's so much more. You get more uh, yeah. of a reaction out of it now. It's like yeah. to the well, next that, level, which is which cool. Is, yeah, which is cool. I and like, it works. I like that. It works better overall, I think, than R two. But yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't completely well, R2-D2, overdone. you never, ever really understood what he was saying. You had to pay attention all around you. Well, this With BB-8, right. yeah. you, you can kind of understand. Kinda didn't, you know, he, yeah, you could kind of understand. He gave Between him a facial bleep. expression and the right. beeps and the way he said, like, beep, 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 whatever. Right, right, but it was like, you right. kind of knew like, where like he when was Finn coming from. Him, right, like, yeah. like when Finn asked him, yo, man, you got to help me out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, hook me and up. And he was like, huh? He tilted his head and the beeps kind of went up in pitch to do that, huh? Yeah. You know, it was real easy. Yeah, it's like well, I ain't doing, I ain't riding you out. I'm on it. Which has always been a thing that like was a bone for me a little bit was uh, you know what Star Wars was like everybody can understand droids, but except us. for like, but us the exactly. people that are yeah, paying yeah. money to watch this shit. <laughs> they don't even give you subtitles. <laughs> yeah, you know you give me subtitles for jo- uh, for for Job of the Hut. Yeah, yeah. You right. know you'll yeah. tell me what he's saying. Yeah, or giant some slug. Other, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but for the for the robot that I'm following for that's right. in every yeah. of the movie. That's in every right. movie. Yeah. I don't need to right. know that. Like, and it uh, usually uh, has a key component of the entire movie. Yeah, stored up his ass somewhere. I think yeah, the, yeah, maybe yeah. what it is is that he's a tr- <laughs> he's a trash mouth, and if we you know then it's not a kids movie anymore, and all of a sudden we know that he's he's got. Well, is it really a kids movie? I mean, doesn't the violence count for something? And dude, it, it's Disney. It's yeah. a lot you know? of that, and there's a well, lot it definitely of, was a Disney movie. You there's know, a lot that. of pullback on some of the violence. Yeah, there wasn't, there wasn't much violence in this movie. I mean, there's a lot of yeah. action and fighting, but a lot of like bloodletting and actually seeing hits happens right. out of frame. Yeah. Yeah. Most they of cut the right away. Yeah, most of it. Most of it. Yeah, most yeah. of it. There's no. There was one clear non-deadly like, you know, stuff you see, but right. if one it's clear supposed to be deadly, you don't blow. Say that again. There was one clear blow that I that stuck out to me throughout the entire movie. Well, yeah, now that I think about it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one. That's one. That's a good one. Yeah, Yeah, when um, he got blood on his helmet. They well, there's that. There's 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 some blood up front, I guess. Right. That was the only. That was the only blood really that I I stuck out to me. So all those people dying. Right. So on a list of newbies, <laughs> um, you know, uh, I, I actually did a little, make a little list. Over here. You have a little list of newbies. Well, I saw it in the in the Google Doc. So like while you were quizzing Leo, like you're you know. so fucking good. I'm gonna get those th- that that pack of gold stars I have at the oh, job. Oh shit! I'm gonna start bringing them in and start giving nice. them out during the show. <laughs> you're gonna get super. Yeah. And at the end of the show, Dom's whoever's got covered. the most super tastic. I'll give the whoever's yeah. got the most so like just, a shoulder. Just rub give him the dom now. Oh. And just be done with it because he's gonna get all the stickers anyway. They're gonna be all over the front of his little notebook. <laughs> well, what you gotta do is you gotta put a board on the wall. <laughs> That's what you know. Collect yeah, like fifty yeah. stickers, you know? Okay. you know, just like the classroom. It's exactly, exactly. Yeah, you know. Right. You know, that's good stuff. All right, but anyways, so, so I made a list of that's fi- for next five week. best and three worst new characters. All right, all right, let's see what this sounds okay. like. Lay it on us. From one to five, from best to least best, I got BB-8 sure. as the best. As the best new, new character. character. Okay, me. all right. It's right. right. a, right. right. a personal list. It's a personal list. All right. <laughs> it was more of a spoof. But, uh, I got you, I got you. Don't lie, don't lie. Ray, Finn, Poe, and Snoke. Okay, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. And then uh, worst, I got Kylo Ren as the worst of the worst. Okay. Then Phasma. Okay. And then Hux. Hux. General Hux. And he, he was being, horrible. Okay. He, he being the worst. The redhead. Being like the kind of like least. Mm. You know, least worst. Well, least good. Yeah. Of the new characters kind yeah. of in a way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt like I really didn't, you didn't get a lot. He's just some guy. He could have been anybody. Yeah, like, but yeah, yeah, they kind of, they had him in a few of the trailers and he kind of seemed like he was going to be a pretty cool character. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, they always, in all the movies, thinking about it now, right. they always made those like background general guys sure, in like sure. the Empire kind of right. be a little bitchy, anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I but he know. was just there. I think he was just there to really to make Kylo seem like a bitch. Yeah, I mean, he, obviously, know? yeah. He's... He didn't bitch. I mean, as much as he tried to bitch Kylo out, I don't think he really succeeded in doing that. Mm. I think know? he was just jealous that the Force is not in him. That's true. That's there's a, good a lot point. of that. There's a little bit of that going on. You know, he's yeah. just like, yeah, look, he, yeah. all I'm ever going to do is run this stupid ship. <laughs> All I'm ever yeah. gonna do is clean you know? up after you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. I got this well, giant I, I death that. cruiser that looks just like the one from the original. Yeah, I gotta go movies, steal. Even though it has yeah. nothing to do with the. Yeah, Empire. I gotta go steal more babies <laughs> because you're getting all my men killed. <laughs> from bitch, the original, you know. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, all do right. your job. So, but that's like a list of who we had for like kind of like new, new characters. characters yeah. I thought we would have gotten a little bit more out of Poe, but I'm glad. Mm. I'm fine with what we got. You know, there's a lot going on yeah. in the movie, and it feels like it's like mm. you know. 
we have a lot to do here, which yeah, is why yeah. the movie feels like it runs at a fucking insane speed. Yeah. It doesn't mm-hmm. really get a chance to breathe. I'll right. say that. Like how other Star Wars movies, like you actually, like, you know, there'd be a scene of somebody kind of sitting out looking at the sun. Yeah, but he's going to end up being... Yeah. Three right. seconds. That's all you need. You know what I mean? They don't even do any of that kind of like right. mood set oh, or anything. Oh, yeah, right. Towards you the know? end where they, like the, towards the end when everyone gets the medals of the original movies and you see them standing on the stairs with the sun. There's that at the end or even like when Luke is on... Say that again. And at the end of the movie when they, they're all getting medals, right? In uh, New Hope. Okay. In New Hope, right? Okay. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. New uh-huh. Hope, uh-huh. they're all getting medals and then as they, they turn around, they walk down the stairs and they start walking towards the ship and as they do, they kind of stop and the camera's behind them and you can see like the sky and everything. But that's how the movie ends. Though. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. You know? That's the last like the frame. Dramat- yeah, it's like the dramatic, you know. I gotcha, I gotcha. This- you know, yeah, I think so, I think JJ tried to do some of that in the action scenes though. Well, is that there's you there's know, definitely the apocalypse back, now. You know. There's the apocalypse now shot. But what I'm talking about is like even like the stuff with like Luke when he's on his planet and he hasn't he mm-hmm. hasn't left it yet, and he's just kind of like you know sitting out there longingly like oh what's my life? I mean granted like that's one of the few that's a long shot of that we do get some of that and mm-hmm. after that we don't get a lot more of that. But I just meant like if, in the original this, movies in the original movies yeah. they they had some more breathing room you know yeah. this has got like a lot to pack in it moves at a fast clip if anything like it's not a nitpick but that's mm-hmm. like something that's noticeable uh, of this compared to other the other ones is that like just the tempo and speed of it is is like a different thing this is right. like, this is like a roller coaster this is more yeah which is a modernized well, thing but he's got yeah. so much to jam at you you got new characters to throw in old characters to catch up with right all new everything's got to be kind of direct you know yeah so i i hope that in the next one there's a little bit more of that where it's like you know you can kind of mm-hmm. digest it a little bit more or right, yeah. characters will get a little bit more of a well you're gonna get the background story in the next one well that's what i mean but yeah. also too that there's like you know it isn't just like three sentences to uh talk to a certain kind of point and then that's my that's my growth on that thing right. like you know mm-hmm. what i mean okay it's like you know 35 seconds of uh some kind of fight training and now uh, i am the next level fucking ninja jedi nice superstar where's that class uh, well it's, right. it's we do it you on want at least some kind of matrix on kind of, sundays yeah ninja jedi of... training you didn't see the memo you didn't no the, i didn't get uh, that memo by the door on the way out oh, all right thing. cool it's got, uh, cards cool jedi it. training so Oh, you wait. Did you hear about the uh, the Jedi fitness they have now? Oh, I believe it. Because yeah, I saw it I on the it. Uh, on Channel One. Lots of bad news. With oh the... my God! Now they show this guy <laughs> with a robe, and I don't like it. You know, <laughs> of uh, course, this, of course, the I robe. Show... Nobody has a robe on I and a bandana off. and a lightsaber, and they're like showing you plastic how to lightsaber. Yeah, yeah, like one of the plastic. You know, yeah. Yeah. great. Yeah. great. So, no, I think you have to uh, join with your own lightsaber. So. Now, well, you after it was over, I think so. I think so. It's not I even supplied. After it was over, did the guy go to the reporter? Now make sure this gets on the air because I took this out of the package. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took this lightsaber out of the package. Oh, okay, the original. Oh, <laughs> that's true. That's that's. This like is Darth right? Vader's sword. This isn't I mean, just some robe, yeah, okay? Yeah. Because you have to. You know, I am a Jedi gonna now. Come up with that? Anyone who's going to come up with that? Yeah. It's got to be a Star Wars fanatic. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, they got to be a fan. Really? Come, a on, fan. Come on, so, Bob. Come on, Bob. You know what I mean? So, uh, they're this... going to be using <laughs> the lightsaber. What are they going to use? They're going to use one that they got. Yeah, they're going to use a $350 right. one. Yeah. Well, let's see what Bob's saying. Bob's saying yeah, the guy's going to have to use all his, uh, the, the, yeah. the stuff he's got laying the around. Real, right. yeah, 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 yeah. So, with that. Yeah, so, it's the bathrobe, the white just, bathrobe. Just how to add that. Uh, no, no, no. That's funny to me. That's a good little bit. That's some news. Leo's bringing some news. So well rounded. You are. I, didn't, I didn't realize. Yeah. I, didn't realize. I think we're going to take a quick break. Okay. And then when we come back, <laughs> dive right into the we'll spoiler. Dive section. right into. We're going to spoil it. If we haven't hinted mm. it and given it anything away yet, ooh, mm. we're going to give it all away when we come back. Yeah, so, so, so listen to this cute little thing I'm going to put in here, and then uh, when it's over, right. If you don't want spoilers, if you don't want spoilers, you, you best get the fuck right. out. Because realize, you know, we'll come back in right? Because think about it, people. If you haven't seen the movie by now, it's already been out for what, a day and a half. Well, by the time this so. goes up on Monday, you know what I mean. <laughs> right, it's the gonna, whole weekend's it's gonna be four the days. whole weekend plus, right? So yeah. uh, it, then you don't matter anyway if you didn't see it by. That's fucked up. No, I'm though. kidding. That's fucked up. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Bob shit! Yeah, that. I just I just wanted to make that oh Bob said that. That was Bob, 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 sweetie. That was on his own. There's no script. Yeah, Leo's, Leo's going to my address. Yeah, yeah. We here do not... Uh, <laughs> the Wicked Theory Podcast yeah. is not condone, there you go. condone, nor acknowledge his existence. <laughs> this is all on an individual <laughs> basis. We'll be right back. They say the neon lights are bright on Broadway. There's a way 
is magic in the Time. Spoilers! This is like the spoiler section. Oh, spoiler yeah. Alert. Spoiler yeah. alert. Warning. Warning. That's it. That's it. It's spoiler all over alert. now. It's all spoiler over. Alert. Turn back. If you Warning. didn't see the movie, Warning. you beat. Go home. Suck it. Turn it off. There you back. go. There you, you go. There you go. Been That's Leo's favorite. That's $5. That's $5 oh, yeah. right there. You didn't realize. <laughs> you didn't realize. <laughs> you, yeah, you owe him, you owe him yeah, five bucks. I own that shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Really? <laughs> it's, it's oh, I don't, I don't know you well enough to know. Nah, I, I wish. Sure. I should have bought it. You should have got like a little uh, trademark stamp. There's a couple. Uh, how do you do that? It's that's, that's a good conversation to have. Suck it's probably going to be a challenge, I would yeah. think. Someone might even already have that. Bastard. The, um, let's start with the beginning. Let's start like right at the very beginning. Let's start with the opening crawl okay. because I feel like that was yeah. a thing that instantly I was like, well, aside from the fact that I got like chills. Yeah, yeah, Bob, yeah, me and Bob yeah, talked we, about yeah, that. Yeah, we talked that, about that earlier. How like, about you, Leo? Did I you got chills th- multiple times throughout the film. Me too. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I that's what he girls. was thinking about during the movie. Uh, yeah, sorry, Did you guys cry too? Yeah. Wait, what are you talking about emotional? Well, not emotional. I mean, I didn't have to go outside and have yeah, a moment. Well, yeah, I don't, you know. Like, like chills? I didn't have to, like you don't get like the... Your body box any, was bleeding? Like, no, no, I didn't have to fix my makeup. Oh, okay, got Like, you know, that you didn't have any kind of moment. At all, anywhere, a little pang, a little kind of a twinge. Well, what that what felt are you like, talking about in the beginning moment? I don't like, know. Do you have? Do you like have feelings? Do you have, yeah, feelings? I have feelings? Yeah, I have do feelings. They, do they? Do they? Once in a while, get triggered by by, <laughs> yes, by, by stimuli? Events. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. All right. I had a. Th- I had a little. Explain. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't really define it. What as, did it for you? First of all, the opening scroll. For some reason, although I've seen it a million times, like that's yeah, why it got me. I had like mm-hmm. a pang of like you know like this is Star Wars exuberance. Yeah. So, like, I've never. I, you were excited. Like, you know when you were, like, a little kid and you would get that, like, all day, every okay, day? Yes, like, I, everything I, is fucking amazing I, I, it's I, all yeah. fucking new? Like, I had that for a split I second. I got you. Well, when... Uh, it hit my heart, like... When you know it came mean? on, I... It took me back, yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I did, I did, you know, it did... It do does something. connect. <laughs> that, you know? I had that, yeah, I had that little uh, ad- sign, adrenaline yeah. rush, that, the rush of endorphins or whatever hell okay. it is. It's like okay. it was um, more like let's yeah. get it on, let's see what they did. Right, you're like hurry up like, with all this yeah. reading go. I gotta yeah. do. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of reading, the first thing it said yeah. was Luke's gone. Yeah. Just like that, I said Luke's gone. Yeah. He's the quickest star. He's not over here. He's over here. Wait a second, he's not here no more. Yeah. That's it. He's lost. Somewhere after the last movie, he took off. We don't know where the hell he's over there now. Well, I, you know I can't believe with all the technology, like we talked about before, <laughs> right. that they can't find the motherfucker. No, well, no one's got cell phones in Star Wars, so. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. The planet's a bomb. Uh, we got a high laser cannon. But it was a long right. time But ago, I, I can't get in, te- in touch with nobody. <laughs> Tom's got a point. They didn't even have beepers? No, no, no pages. No, ago, beep, no beepers. Yeah. We got hyperdrive. Okay, ah. we got floating cars and vehicles, oh but 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 I got a fucking robot is, that follows this, me around and saves the the day. You know, speaks all different episode. languages. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? He can communicate with everybody, but but no, but, but we don't know. What but we don't have saying. like a homing signal yeah. kind of thing. He can't. Yeah. Uh, he don't have a There's fucking no low built-in, yeah. you know, radar. He can't or, fly. Uh, yeah, you know. He's I mean, a, even Inspector Gadget flew. 
but he's just protocol. With his fucking little hat, you know? Come on. It's crazy. Came it's crazy. Propeller. It's crazy. Yeah, you don't What's have up one of those, technology? like, find my Jedi apps on it? And there's also, like, no media, which is something yes. that I, I've noticed a long time ago, but people are starting to pick up from this one for some reason. But, like, there's no media. Like, there's no, like, you don't see it, really. Like, there's a couple of spots, like, throughout the series where you've kind of seen it, like, in the background a little mm. bit, but there's no news. News doesn't travel in this universe. Mm. Like, you know, everything is a legend that they're talking about right. to the younger characters. Right. It's all myth or legend right. to but them. But he's still alive. So it's how long ago <laughs> was this that people forgot about Jedi? Well, that's the thing, too. That's that's another thing. Yeah. It's like, you know, oh, this whole I universe was taken it. over by an empire and it's all, it's collapsed. It's like, you know, it's a huger thing than World War II ever was. Like, you know what I mean? And like, everyone's like, kind of like people, some people know stuff, some people don't. Like, I kind of get it maybe it's all spread out across this galaxy but like you just never see any screens where it's like anybody's like carry a pigeon i'm kind of glad that lucas right, didn't like... start inserting that shit because it probably would have been silly as fuck oh my god you know what i mean you know what i mean or some kind of really i silly, definitely don't silly... want to see like a coke machine in uh, star wars well you know, like, you know well, thank like god that. you know what i was thinking you know, too pepsi I was like, machine that's okay like... nisa drink a pepsi yeah you know i don't want to see that I, I, you don't, I don't want know. a kenny Loggins song ripping no. through from the soundtrack all of a sudden no. Oh, I don't know. Highway in a danger zone and shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> that shit I was yourself. thinking about that too. I was like, imagine like if the, that's what I was thinking. I was like, thankful for that. Like, there was right. There was no moment where like you know someone was like, no, this needs a soundtrack. <laughs> you know, or like even in the old ones that no one so, ever said like, you know what? Yeah. You, you gotta have like real songs in this or something. Like, yeah. oh my god, like uh, yeah, yeah, Chris yeah Sammy Hagar, I can't scene. drive fifty five would not work during a uh, a fight scene. I'm sorry. Well, you would just do it during the flying stuff. Yeah. I can't fly fifty five. So. So anyway, the opening crawl. So Luke is gone. He's vanished. He's disappeared. Wah. One of the things I kind of was appreciative of is the fact that that was like still a kind of like a secret. Like it hadn't gotten spoiled right. for me in a way. I mean, obviously it was a plot possible plot point, but it felt like to me like, oh, okay. Like stuff hadn't gotten spoiled yet. Like I don't know if anybody else really had anything spoiled for them. I know you probably didn't, Leo. Bobby probably didn't. Don I didn't. I, I, I avoided nothing. the trailers and stuff like yeah. that. I saw the... Uh, one trailer that I saw was actually at the Avengers too. So right, that yeah, was, you were telling me that I was, kind of, that, I was that kind of part amazed. was actually it didn't really ruin nothing. So. Yeah, I was kind of surprised to hear that 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 uh, that's the only trailer or commercial you really saw. That was, was it. Like, it. I was really staying away from it because sometimes with the trailers for me it ruins the movie. Like for me, it's like I, well, you, no, see, you know because there's so many movies out there that and with every other movie you'd be right. You know, what you I mean? know, this is the, one of the first times right. like ever yeah. they kind of like really held well, on right. to stuff, which was yeah. you know which was the best thing that they. I went in blind. It was good. We you all know, eyes and, wide and for the, shut. For the most shit. part, we all really did. Yeah, like you know, yeah. we we all really didn't. Even if we yeah. saw I more didn't go trailers, crazy looking for trailers. Yeah. I've seen. Uh, I saw maybe two. Yeah, you know? and even me and Don, we we kind of digest a lot of this stuff more than you guys. But yeah, yeah. and even for all the trailers and stuff that we watched, like it's not like we saw more than was in that first one, really. No. So right, they really couldn't have given it away. There was anything. a lot of new footage, but there wasn't a lot of revealing footage. All right, let's get back to go. spoiling yeah. this. So it's ruined. <laughs> The whole franchise is ruined now. Yes, Spoiler. it is. Yes, it is. It is Mickey spoiled. Mouse came on screen and <laughs> ruined everything for everybody. <laughs> so here's some questions. Dressed so, as Darth Vader with mouse ears. So, no, Darth Tater. Darth Tater, great. So, <laughs> fuck you, Darth Tater. I'm trying to do a show here. So, um, did you like it? Yeah. Oh, I asked that already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah um, exactly. Already. Yeah. So, the spoiler, man. What happened at that? So, what's, a, what's a big deal? You think? Yeah. Well, 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 I don't what know. was a big do deal? Do you think? Do you think? You know, the death of your fucking hero is a fucking big deal. Not really. No, he was about a thousand years old. Anyway. Like I said before, he, he. I felt that him and Huck got left out of the movie. Mm. So they kill fucking Fuck Han Solo. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm fine with Sorry. it. Yeah. I, mean, but, I mean, like, you know. Yeah, but, but is he really dead? If they had made this. If, <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's hanging out with Tupac. He's going to rebuild him like they did. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. he's like hanging on to yeah. that antenna maybe he's the next, that, that Luke yeah. was hanging on yeah, to maybe he's the next when he guy. lost his arm. <laughs> maybe he's the next guy. So, instead, of the, instead of the father trying to get the son to go to the dark right, side, right, 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 right. the right. son got the father. He's going to be even darker Whoa. than the father. He's going to be dark Darth Vader. He's gonna be <laughs> Darth Solo. Dark, dark <laughs> Roast. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, they kill him off, and like, did you see it coming? Did you feel like that was going to happen in the moment? Yeah, I mean, very, uh, you know, very predictable. It was, yeah, it, it, was, very it was a predictable yeah, moment. As, as soon as he yeah. hit the bridge there. Uh, that I feel was, like as uh, soon as I saw that catwalk, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. well, you know. Well, as soon as you saw that 
deep area. You knew something was going to be that going too. on there. Right. And then when you saw him start, oh, I got it. You saw the sun standing out on it, and he's standing up there looking down on him like, oh, yeah, that's it. He's done. That's it. Here's oh, there's it. no guardrail? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, he's just going to go out on that thing. He's going <laughs> to Why, why is it going to be a guardrail? Well, I don't know, because it's a catwalk in the middle of a giant <laughs> abyss <laughs> across a, a vast emptiness. Nah, there's no safety regulations in this universe. I'm telling you that right now. Really? It doesn't seem like well, it. Well, these, you know, these dark empires, they, just, they don't care. They don't care about regulations. They don't they care don't about people. Care. I, mean, I mean, the last one. They didn't give a shit. They, they when the thing blew up, all the construction people died. In the I life, know that's the original true. trilogy. So, so you know, we didn't get that this one. No, well, yeah. the I'm thing sure was completed. Died, the thing was completed. Yeah, but there's still it didn't blow up. But there's even there was too. maintenance men. There's sure. even more people. Yeah, around. but yeah, but this time the planet blew up. So this thing now, this 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 thing that they blew up though is like twelve times the size of the, the Death yeah, Stars. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> which is a thing. Like I feel like story wise, like a golf ball next to it. I feel like as as like a story thing goes, it's like. Too much. It's like way you, you, you fucking decide to take the fucking biggest possible thing and do it up front. Like I, I get the whole thing of recycling some of the motifs of these fucking movies. It's like okay, it was a giant planet kind of thing, so we'll do it again. But now this thing is, is super immense, right? Super immense. Oh yeah, ridiculous. So huge. ridiculously oversized. Yeah. So now we Bigger can't do this sun. again. Well, almost the size. You know of what I mean? Sun. You did it twice in the first three movies. With this planet thing. Right. Now you did it again. And now you did it so big that, like, you definitely can't now do this again. You right. should have probably fucking saved this for, like, another right. movie. Worked and, towards that or some well, shit. they did save it for another movie because they didn't destroy it in this one. I thought they did, though. No. Oh, yeah. They did, no, they did blow it up. You're right. Okay. So they... You're yeah. right. They, they finally went and flew it. But no, then when that thing... When they killed the thing, the reaction happened on the planet. Yeah, but they were looking up at it, right? Dom? What? Oh, I'm yeah, fucking no, sleeping no, over there? No, no, they, they were, uh, in, in this one, they weren't. He's taking a nap, there. people. I don't know. I just got lost in Twitter. I'm yeah, sorry. the planet. Well, bet, well, Twitter bet. junkie. Yeah. I, think the pl- I think the planet ended up being destroyed, and that thing really wasn't. I feel like it was. I feel the like the star, base, the, the star base was definitely destroyed, right? Yeah. Because. Yeah. Word. Yeah, the, I'm going to say I word. I, don't think anybody... Ren, I remember Kylo Ren saying that, uh, to Snoke at one point that the, the reaction is happening on the planet. Kylo Ren doesn't we say have to anything get out after it blows up. Yeah, they're picking his ass up. Blows up. No. All right, well, this is during the destruction. Or was it the general saying it? Probably General Hawks. Okay. I would assume. Well, either, either way, someone was at Snoke telling him that the, the planet's about to blow up. We have to leave. So Yeah, that was Hawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. I forgot about right. that. Okay. Yeah. So I want to say that I feel like... Um, I don't know. Snoke turned out to be like a joke. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like it was a lot of build up for this mysterious reveal. And then like, okay, like I get yeah. that. He's like, you just. Yeah, we only saw the, a hologram though. Well, I just feel like the whole overall design and the whole uh, keeping it super quiet for that was like, it's, uh, I don't know how warranted it really is. Like there was no, no. big reveal. He's not crazy looking where it's mm-hmm. like, oh, I could see that, that you want to keep that design under wraps or something. He's just some weird alien looking dude. Right. Like and he's nothing it, crazy. It, it, to me, it, and to me, it totally felt like, um, well, almost like Wizard of Oz. Don't, it's, don't mind that man behind the curtain kind of thing. Yeah, yeah but do, do, you think, do you think? Do you think? I don't uh, think uh, he doesn't have to be real. He could just be a freaking puppet. Yeah, but for do all you think know. Snoke and the Poke over there is uh, some like a giant because he had him portrayed that, or just a hologram? He's like Yoda size. I'll, I'll throw that to Dom because do uh, Dom's working on. Uh, well, we, we we I think we heard the mutual theory from um, that he might be Plagueis. Yeah. So no. So there's uh, this. He's from the extended universe, right? Right. Well, he's mentioned in. Oh, he's mentioned in Phantom Menace, I think. Uh, it, um, one one of those three yeah. when he's older, not the first one. Right. Okay. Because it's uh, actually me and Brian watched a clip at work. Okay. And so, um, I think Palpatine is explaining it to Anakin when mm-hmm. he's in his teenage years or whatever. Basically, that there was a guy named Plagueis who. Uh, is one of these kind of Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis. He's Darth like a race of giants or whatever yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. thing. And um, he, a lot of his descriptions and stuff like that all seem to fit yeah. this mm. dude. But, to be Snoke. Right. But Plagueis supposedly died. And, um, and, and predates What's his name the killed movies. him, though? Uh, Vader? No. Palpatine? Uh, Palpatine killed no, Plagueis. Oh, okay. okay. Well, okay. Well, yeah, the Force that's what... does tend to go down uh, bloodlines, so it could be someone related. related. Sure, f- fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be someone related to Plagueis. But or there's, at least a, of that there's a lot of theories. It's Plagueis' nephew. So, um, 
Yeah, I feel like he was kind of overrated. And then you know, what I mean, all right, whatever. We'll get more of him in the next ones for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like watching the movie, I didn't know if he was like actual hologram or if he was like hiding out behind a rock and he was like projected to be bigger. Right, like, right, right, right. You know, right. like yeah, yeah. If it was just an optical illusion, kind yeah, of thing. yeah, it was like you know, like he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. But I think the idea is that he's supposed to be. Um, he's not scary. No, but that's another thing too. I'm not kick really, his I'm ass like, any First day. of all, don't lean down and get in my face like that. Yeah. You're a hologram. Yeah. yeah. What am I? What am I worried about? <laughs> what are you gonna do to me? What fucking? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Jedi mind trick yeah. don't work that yeah. far I'll turn, away. On, I'll turn on a brighter light and blow your ass away. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I'll just shut I'll off this machine. <laughs> I'll just <laughs> kick this fucking projector yeah. you got. That's what I'm saying. It's like, uh, yeah. uh, jerk. I'm not checking in with no yeah. projector. Uh, See this flashlight? I got it at Sears. Now you're gone. That's it. Click. So how do we feel? So. The stormtrooper stuff mm. turns out to be like, like I don't know. It's, it seems kind of cool to me. They kind of you don't kind of really get a whole lot of it. But this movie, like again, doesn't have time to really kind of break shit down and give you like a real fucking mm. feeling and stuff. But um, you know, the clones are gone. It's it's these kids that are scooped up now and then uh, programmed human trafficking. Basically, thank you, Disney. You know, some brainwashing mm. in the name of evil. And then um, that's where proud. Finn comes from. Finn basically breaks Huck his... Finn? That, yeah. Did you catch it? Yes. So yeah. uh, he basically breaks his uh, conditioning one way or the other. So the question, okay, I think maybe in the back of the heads is going to be a little bit of, well, is, this, is he like the only one? Mm. Is this a thing that happens once in a while? Will mm. we see any kind of more of this? Will this become a plot point maybe down the line where because bring it happened to clones. him? Well, maybe we figure out how to break the brainwashing on all the other the rest of the army because he broke it somehow. Bring him to the light side. Or, right. or help broadcast the right frequency to all the clone you, uh, stormtrooper units and turn <laughs> off their brainwashing. Let's Some kind short of stupid, out the chip. Right, right. Exactly. Some yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. stupid yeah. plot line like that is sure. kind of like what I'm thinking might happen. Happen with that, or it wouldn't yeah, happen. If he takes one man, then it goes. Do you send think it, send it into but, space? But do you the rest think they're gonna? Do you think go. he's someone <laughs> important? Like, is he yeah. gonna be somebody's? Uh, you know, someone from like, the think, original trilogy, no, son or something? No, or I don't think he's. You think related. he's just some random? I think he's totally random. I think he's gonna dude. kind of serve as like the new Han Solo type character. He's definitely fitting that archetype. I feel yeah, like he's definitely. We talking about Poe now? No, we're t- talking about uh, uh, Finn? Uh, Finn stuff. Mm. But I feel like Pin uh, Pin. Pin and foe. I feel like foe. I can. <laughs> foe, show. I feel no, like you're foe welcome. and Finn kind of both jump back and forth between being similar to Luke at some times and other times similar to Han. Like mm-hmm. they, like one kind of fits more of the other a little bit. Obviously, Poe is the fighter pilot, so he fits that aspect of Luke's time a little bit better or reflects that that eagerness, that gung ho. Hey, I uh, gotta go and. And Finn seems a bit more hesitant to do things. He's not the brash guy that yeah, Han right. really mm. is later on. Or he definitely comes. needs his tampon right. change. He's good, but, yeah. and he's good with he's a blast. Yeah. Poe, he's like, he's like a black cat. Right. And that, he's actually, got nine Poe, lives and I shit. About yeah. it, I mean, uh, Finn, now that I think about it, is the most reluctant character probably I've ever seen in a Star Wars film. Where yeah. like he's a, It's rare to see anybody like uh, trying to avoid shit. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of running full steam ahead or just yeah. accepting it all. Yeah. Like, he's definitely the kind of guy where, like, I feel like maybe in the sequel, he'll have to be convinced maybe to come back into the fray a little bit where it'll be like, hey, I got bandaged up at the end of the last skirmish and I'm trying to stay off the grid. But it's like, well, because you know stuff, you know, because you was so a he, stormtrooper for a while. So, <laughs> so basically, he's an office man. He's going to end up in the thinking, office. Well, he kept on saying he was sanitation. Yeah, sanitation. You know I mean? So he's, he's, <laughs> he's, maintenance, sanitation. he's maintenance engineer 101 right there. I told you right you're there. in a sanitarium. Oh. <laughs> you got garbage. You fuck around like that guy. You got garbage. <laughs> Fucking. Who does your dumpster service here? So oh with that, God. like, um, I think that that's kind of like obviously what they're setting him up. A I don't believe for. he's in sanitation. He had you no know, backbone. Was, he, he, he had he, no backbone. Sanitation guys got backbone. You know. Well, I I mean, mean, with, I'm over man, here. Man. I'm over there. On a death you star, know? like how yeah. dirty does it get though? Come on, you know? he's sanitation. He's sanitation. <laughs> I think what's going to happen in the next one is Poe's going to end up taking the helm of the Millennium Falcon because Ray's going to be uh, the Jedi or the Jedi in training. Well, you know, so she'll at definitely. At some point, uh, they're going to have to right, put so him in. Do the you seat. or do you not think that that mm. is Han Solo and Leia's daughter? I don't think so. I, uh, do. I think it's Luke's daughter. I don't think so. I think if it was, I think, I think, I think if there was a daughter, if there was a daughter, there would have been mention of a daughter. I think yeah. it's too convenient for them to just not mention it to each other. Like, let's talk about our son and the issues with our son. That maybe, like, but not like yeah. Talk but about if they, the daughter. but if the, if the, um, the force, 
fuck. If <laughs> if the uh, uh, evil empire over right. there is stealing babies, right? What what makes you say they didn't take her? She escaped, maybe. Or, well, here's the thing, like too. Someone's in the movie, they mm. dropped her off on an island. You see a ship that you really can't make out. No, that was and, the Millennium Falcon. And she, okay, so then there you go. And they're I don't like, think it was. was it the Millennium Falcon? I don't think what? so. I don't think it, it was. looked to me like the what, Millennium Falcon. Yeah. That she took away with? That she no, no, no. The no. one that like shoots off. No, when, like, when, when she's going back up, and she's like, everybody at once. I don't want to, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to wait. <laughs> for my life oh my to be exactly. Over. She wants to wait on the uh, Juga over there. She the junk fucking down by planet. Dawson's Creek? Right. Yeah. When she grabs the planet. Where all the junk is, they got. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. She wants know, to stay there, right? She wants to. She wants to stay there. She's waiting, She's for, waiting her for her family to come back. Right, that right, dropped right. her off. What? Whose ship was that? That Did dropped her ass off. Right. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. flashback, right? They showed, they showed it up in there, and like it uh, far yeah, yeah. But that don't mean nothing because here's the thing: fucking Luke was probably dropped off by some third party people anyway, too. That's, yeah. So here's the thing: if she was dropped off by any of them. It's kind of weird that they would do that because that was supposed to be during a time of probably peace or rebellion. Like Luke and Leia were kind of stashed away to get them away from Darth Vader. Like mm-hmm. why were they, you know, why would these Because they're two afraid twins... of Vader's power still. Still? He's dead though. He's never dead. He's never dead. But Strike was, me down. I'd be more, if, 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 more powerful if I, if than I may ever, answer right? the question. Like, oh, if you may, <laughs> Leo, hold the humor for a moment. All right. They would want, if they're after Luke to get destroy the last Jedi, they would be after his kid as well. Fair yeah. enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Right, right. If they did have kids right. and those kids were fucking... Right. But here's my thing, though. But, but, but how would they know the, it was the kid, though? Here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Although it's, you know, mystery stuff, but so at some point, Ben, the, the good son, mm. or the son of Han Solo, mm. starts getting trained, and we bother to train him but we don't train the sister. We hide the sister away. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's a convolutedness think, yeah, to the story. Yeah, I don't think it has, I don't think this. I don't think they're related. What do you think no. the age differences? They're not related. The they're not. They're not brother and sister. Yeah. I think it's Luke's daughter. All right. I think no. they might be cousins, and I think even more so, it's more likely for me that she's not related to anybody. Like I would much rather have her be a random. Like you know what I mean? And That'll be interesting. But I just feel like it just, everything is way too convenient sometimes in it. Like, you know, everybody's related to somebody. People are like, oh, my God, Black Stormtrooper. It must be Lando's kid. Right. It's like, come on, guys. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, so that might, like, well, that might happen that we find out it's Lando's grandson. Well, <laughs> I was only kidding. Yeah. But, like, I'm hoping it doesn't. But my, my And I was using it as an example of a bad thing. Well, where is his grandson? <clears throat> Lando's. Come on. We don't know if Lando had, had to have kids. kids. No, but some no. people don't. Maybe they went drinking. to every planet in every yeah. galaxy well, if anybody every was, system. Listen, if anybody was laying seeds. It's it was Billy Lando, D. It was Lando Maybe and Han. He Billy was drinking D. too much Colt 45 malt Come liquor on. to have One a Colt 45. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> Poor Lando. Guy does fucking five commercials. He can't get away from Colt 45 jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> fucking Billy Colt 45. Well, it's either the Colt liquor. 45 joke or the, the one with the hand in it. It's out of my taste. Well, yeah, Whatever commercial that was. I'd rather yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Colt 45. I just love that mustache. It's so <laughs> subtle. <laughs> Just a subtle little hint of a mustache. Uh, yeah, God. just a subtle hint of a porn star mustache. Um, mustache. So, mustache. Mustache. So is Luke missing? Not anymore. Not anymore. Where did we find him? We found him on the shores of fucking Galilee. Yeah. Galilee. Galilee? Well, Tripoli. fucking... Uh, the fucking, art gallery? No, Galilee, I said, you fucking hump. Fucking, you know, on the shores of fucking Scotland. Up the, the mountain, you remember? Doing, yeah. The top of the stairs, you know, that, that little staircase she had to climb? Who? Oh, Ray, she had to climb that short staircase of like what, 50,000 okay. 50, stairs? Yeah, well, you know, it's a fucking Shaolin metaphor, man. You can't get to the top of no temple without some steps. Mm. Some you kill bill saying? shit. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. Jump on a balance on my blade, yo. So, but yeah, so she finally gets up there. Now, what do you think about that look that Luke gave her? Do you think that that was like, just like, wow, it's just some crazy shit? Or that's the look of a father giving his daughter a look like, I didn't want you to ever fucking get involved in this. But some people are reading it like it's a father well, it, look, or some people are trying to read it as just like a look like no, it, that's it, not uh, that says the opposite. I think all we can take it for now is a, a, a what the fuck are you doing here? Look, mm-hmm. it's about fucking time you showed up. <laughs> Did you bring me a cookie? That's why he probably should have been like, I've been uh, waiting for you. Uh, where's my sandwich? Did you bring my subway sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> That's when they finally get in the uh, the, 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 yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the promotional pitch, the tie-in. In the subway and McDonald's. The end. They're both everywhere. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Coming soon. Over 30 billion plants served. Mm-hmm. Um, so no one really has a, I mean. What? What, you, what, what are you looking What did you feel about the fact that we finally saw Luke at the end? Like this. Well, obviously, I mean, ha- we weren't well, going to get much of him. At a certain point, you realize, all right, halfway through, yeah, still half, haven't yeah. seen Luke. Halfway through the movie, you kind of knew he was going for the end, and 
like I guess they I mean for me they kind of told me in the storyline that you aren't going to see him till the end sure. and this mm-hmm. this way we can <laughs> You know, we save him for the next movie. We can save right. him for the next movie, and then the next movie. To me, uh, it feels like it's going to go like they're going to split it. It's going to be about progression and the you know and uh, you know going and backwards. The, yeah, and the past. You know, right, right. past and progression. It's going to be like he's going to be training her, mm-hmm. and you, then you're going to see scenes of what happened with Ben and when right. he became bad, and you know, so they could split the movie like that. Mm-hmm. Or they can go either way. They could just never tell that part of the story. Right. And, you know, 15 years from now, tell that part of the story. Like, they did set it up to go either way. But right. as far as Luke missing, like, just because your mm-hmm. nephew went to the dark side, you dip out. Like, that's... Well, that's the thing. That's a question. It's that like, that you know, was a little weird to me. Like, right. It's know, like, how much is he really he's responsible fucking Luke, for motherfucking that? Skywalker. I mean, like, fuck it. You could have killed that kid. Yeah. You could have done us all a favor. Yeah. Once that kid starts... Luke's rule should be once you start going dark, you die. Yeah. You know? Once yeah. you come in like, hey, I, I, we caught this kid. He, he fucking killed some mice out in the backyard. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or yeah. some creepy little kid shit that they, you know, they say to watch for for serial killers. Yeah, you know, yeah. Some sociopathic yeah, kind of shit. Yeah, don't have that in. No, no, in. no red flags for that? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. We're it's sitting here doing some, blood tests. Yeah, it's got to be some kind of Jedi. Testing your midichlorians. Yeah. You know what I mean? We don't have no psych evaluation yet for these kids. <laughs> the fuck? The last one killed a room full of fucking babies. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Exactly. A little, a little fucking uh, process here. Just mm. thinking it through. Jesus. What's <laughs> up with this yeah. universe? No one yeah. fucking pays attention. <laughs> so, um, There's no policing. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to get. We're going to get some of that training shit for sure in the sequel. Mm-hmm. We're definitely going to get... Um, we're going to get the... We're going to find out why he ran from the whole Kylo thing. I think we'll yeah, get that for sure. And at the same you time, know. you can get Han Solo back. You're going to get a big funeral for Han. Yeah, but you can right. get a funeral and then they could show... Go back where he's mm-hmm. still in the movie. What's happening? You know, him growing up with his son. What went wrong? Well, that's a lot well, of... Yeah, you know, we're going yeah, ba- to get some of that backstory for sure. You know? Yeah, that's the thing I wonder about. Like, you know, we're Star Wars doesn't about technically... Kylo. Yeah, and Star Wars doesn't really do flashbacks per se. They'll do it like inside of a, a vision mm-hmm. or a, a dream kind of yeah, a thing yeah, where right. it's like... And even then, like, it's like, well, that makes it automatically loosey-goosey where we can swing it either way. Like, it was right. real or it wasn't. So even in her vision, it's like how much of the truth are we actually really kind of getting? You know what I mean? Obviously, a, a good chunk of it is because that's why it's there like mm-hmm. it's like okay we'll use this because we don't do flashbacks as the mechanic to show mm-hmm. you stuff so that's cool like you know i'm digging it but i feel like still because it's like they could still play loosely with it like you know but <clears throat> i think we're gonna get some of that i think we're gonna get uh i feel like when finn just trying to like fit in sp- well spend half his movie i got a feeling trying to get a hold of her or get like he needs or he's got a reason now to go Either she's got a reason to go find him, probably because he's you know, has intimate knowledge of the enemy, or she, uh, he's got to track her down. And they definitely uh, had a little bit of a romance going on. Like it was, a, it was a hint of it enough. Yeah. I think they suggested it enough that they could feel it out from the audience now, mm. in between the downtime, and see how much people. You know, everyone's going to gonna love it. Obviously, sure, why not? Well, living under that helmet so long, you see your first piece of ash. Of course, you're going to fall. Yeah, yeah, there was some <laughs> other stuff that you said. Too. Be realistic. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, he, was, like, he was taken as a kid. So yeah, he was, he was taken as a kid. Been, yeah. She kept saying, "Oh, stop touching my hair!" Stop touching my hand. He's of getting, course, he's holding on. He, you know, he's looking. He's getting his first little. Uh, yeah, he's you know, like, first yeah. little chubby. He's like, you're oh. the first female that I've actually been like within like sniffing distance. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> that I was actually going to say, say the same you know? thing. Take off your helmet. And now you know you're pretty. So that's even worse. And you got good teeth. You know, I've got all you these got good teeth down the desert. You got a good deep space dental plan. Isn't it amazing that dental service Everybody, that they get out there? They got good choppers out really? in space, man. Even really the, even the aliens, the ugly ass aliens, they all yeah. have good teeth. I, mean, I think they do. Yeah, I never know. Yeah, probably, yeah. probably. I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, probably buy them online. I they get the most I mean, funky. They might be ugly looking teeth, but they're their teeth. They're clean. They're white. Mm. Right, right, right. To a degree. To a degree. Some yeah. of them get nasty though. It's not like you're missing anything. It's true. It's true. You had something? No, not to get like too off topic or anything. Not that we are go on for it. Topic. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. But uh, no, just back. I'm just thinking. You know, like back mm-hmm. to. Like, Uh-oh. you know, what we were talking about with, with um, Luke and Ray being father and daughter or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys, like, remember, but there was the one scene when um, Kylo Ren is, like, interrogating her or whatever. Um, and he's trying to use the Force mm-hmm. on, on her. Mm-hmm. And he says something to her. I don't remember exactly what it was, but, like, once I saw the final scene, it kind of, like, stuck out to me. Mm-hmm. Um, he says something to her, like, you know, uh, when you struggle to fall asleep... You see a vast ocean with an island in the middle or something like that, he says. 
I don't know if oh, you call it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, yeah, I feel yeah. like that could be like maybe, and like at the end, you know, see, that's where Luke is. Like, yeah. it's that huge ocean. Well, Fair enough. Enough. yeah, in the in the one part right. of the movie when she, the lightsaber, uh, Luke's lightsaber was like, I don't know, it was in the same. Right, and she had the stronger right. force. And she to, had the stronger yeah. force to get it. Yeah. You see his face, like, kind of like, he was, to me, he was kind of like, oh shit, you're like related to me, or, you know, somehow, right. some you're way. You're stronger than me. Yeah, somehow, yeah. some and you, way. And you would though, think that because it's Anakin's he's either, you know, it, saber. Yeah, it and that's Anakin's anybody. grandson. Right, that he'd be able to get it. Yeah, it's you know, a little bit easier. You know, it's only that's right. to me. I always took like that the lightsaber because they make it themselves. It's it's only for them. They have you know like you. It would only work. You for can't. Them. Yeah, yeah, like Darth yeah. Maul never got Darth Vader's. You know, or, right. or whatever. Always, you know, right, whoever. Saying. They never were able to get anybody else's lightsaber. Right, right, right. Well, they never you know? did anyway. Well, when when Darth Vader fights Luke Skywalker and the one lightsaber's there, and they both get knocked out of it. Their lightsaber comes to them. It's not well, like, yeah, oh, they, I picked up call. a green one. Let me kill you. Right, well, they don't you gotta really go to the right it, guy. There's also no. Do they have any at their disposal though? Right. You know what I mean? Like, no that random saber. No, they right? wanted a, it, yeah. I don't think there's a one fast of the originals. Though. I don't think there's a fast and hard rule that like if I picked up yours, it wouldn't work for me though. Yeah, I'm right. not saying that pick is a good up, question though. though. Oh, okay. I'm not saying pick it up. I'm saying if there's two like let's. I know it's all you know hypothetical, but if Darth Vader, it's all science, but it's all science. Yeah, and guy will go standing next to each other, and you put both their lightsabers on the like. Opposite ends of the room, right? Can they just can they just go like to the side and pick up that one if it's not theirs? I don't think so. Like, there's a scene in a movie where like they have that other scene. Right. It on may the not bridge. work for them, right? Mm. I forget what movie. I, I forget exactly what movie it was where he cuts his hand off and the lightsaber goes down. Okay, right, and right, Darth right. Vader loses his lightsaber. Right. And they both go like they both use the force to try and get that one. And his comes back to him, and his is further away from him. Why right. wouldn't the closer one come to you? Well, because he wasn't like calling that one, like he's focused on the one he wants. Yeah, but right. if, if some he right. wants his. If, I, if we're in a shootout and your gun sits hey, next well, to me, I get you. I get you. But he's a dumb. Like, he's a yeah, dumb but, kid. Yeah, but you he's don't a dumb. have like a spiritual. He's a Jedi. Force the distance doesn't gun. matter. It's not a matter of yes, like which does. one's closer. Yes, it does. It's a it's few a matter meters. Of distance always matters. <laughs> Distance and, and measurement has never mattered in this universe. You know, don't f- straight up from when uh, Han is talking hey, about fucking, uh, the Kessel Run. Yeah. You know, he's get, they're getting it all wrong. That's why this universe is all right. fucked up. Right. Their math really, is all like... fucking upside down. They're using a metric system, but wrong. Right. Okay. Doesn't yeah? They, don't they say at uh, first it's fourteen parsecs? He's like, no, hey, do we did it in twelve? Yeah, damn it. that's but yeah, that's, uh, but parsecs. That's a running joke though. But he uses in the movie. it. But yeah, yeah but yeah. yeah, but he used. I did a Kessel Run in twelve parsecs. But he uses a, a reference of time, uh, a res- reference of distance, for uh, in a in a usage as if it was time. Right. So parsecs is actually distance. So he mm-hmm. could never shorten the distance. You, it, it's it's three feet or it's three feet. Like right. you know what I mean. I can only shorten how long it takes me in three feet. Right. Parsecs is just a right. But, then, no, but he always tells him like, it would be twelve. We did in twelve parsec. Twelve parse the twelve the Kessel run twelve parsecs in so much. So much time. No, no. I thought he did at least no, in this one, didn't he? No. All right. I mean, if ever, if I ever, know, no, they said he fourteen, co- and they, he corrected them and said twelve. 12. 12. Right. right, right. Which is a running, which is the running gag. Right. I mean, yeah. he's staying consistent with what yeah. he said in the with beginning. His character, but right. people goof on the fact, of, or it's a sticking point to where like George Lucas didn't know what a fucking parsec was, right? And he put it in the script in the wrong way. Gotcha. Point being, there you go. Glad we got rid of that guy. Mm. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Really. Let's talk about that. It took five billion dollars to get rid of him. Well, you know that's what you got to do when you want to buy, uh, you know, yeah, the, world, the world's largest f- franchise. franchise. You know, did you not have that laying around? Because mm. fucking, I didn't. I mean, I would have. You know, if I had a few billion laying around, yes. I'd offer it up. I think that's that why we don't own it. Yeah, I think that puts Lucas that up one? there with like, <laughs> Gates now, right? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, um, that, doesn't that put him up there with Bill Gates and money now? Cause Cause he, no, Bill Gates is still Lucas, richest. Because oh. Lucas, no, because he's giving away a bunch of his money too. Bill he, Gates, uh, sort of the other day, it's Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and this other guy, top three, and Bill Gates. Warren seven, Buffett. Uh, Bill Gates is seventy nine billion dollars personal. Really? Yeah, wow. seventy nine billion dollars. Wow. He should just divide that amongst the people of the world. I mean, like you know, I don't care like if I get one hundred and forty characters, kind of. Yeah, exactly. Like that book, one hundred yeah. uh, unfollowed. Yeah. Um. 
Dom, you're a member of the show. Is there anything you'd like to talk about? Yeah, you don't talk. I haven't. Much. I haven't yeah, got. He he lets us go. If like there's 700 people shooting shit, he's like, I'll just I'll just let you fuck. Jump yeah, in, I'm not. In. I'm not gonna. What did you I'm think of the movie? Jump. Jump. I'm gonna ask you now. What did you think of the movie? What did you think of the movie? Yeah, you well, saw two D. Did you see it? How would you see it? Real D. Two D. Real D. Fucking cheap. Two D. D over here. Yeah, you know, why are these tickets like twenty thousand dollars? <laughs> <laughs> I goofed, all right. I goofed. What can I tell you? I didn't realize. Thanks. I didn't realize. It's uh, you know, I clicked the wrong button. And it's yeah. Fun. So Bill, Bill bought tickets uh, for him and a few other guys. And Bob, was, uh, my friend Brian and, and Leo here. And, and it uh, really wasn't. I mean, it's like a few extra bucks per ticket. So I didn't really think anything until mm. the checkout because I was uh, doing it online. And uh, yeah, but it's still just a I, I movie. Did, well. I, that's so not my point. My point. $14 for the movie, $4 for the glasses. All right, stop crying about the movie. What did you think about it? What did you think about it? Stop <laughs> crying was, about the I wasn't ticket. fucking really? talking at all. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Leo. Just yeah. take over. You want to do the show? It's all yours. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> he is now. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> nah, that's all right, Bill. I want to hear what Tom has to say. I do, too. I'm hoping he has something to say good because it's like I threw it on him now. Do I have something to say? We're waiting. Oh, I mean, I don't know. No, all right. So I won't put it on you like that. How no, I mean, I, I don't care. I mean, I'll, well, I'll no, take no. it. I'll take it. Uh, Speak. Uh, you know. I'm just throwing it to you. I'm just throwing but it no, to you. But no, I mean, obviously, I, I said that I liked it. Um, you know, it's it's up there with my favorites of the Star Wars uh, movies as a whole, you know. But um wasn't perfect, obviously. None of them are, that's for sure. Um, that's true. You know. Yeah. Very I, true. It, the one thing that stuck out to me with this movie was that. Um, a lot of other like big, uh, big, big, big uh, blockbuster action movies that you see, you know, mm-hmm. like it, there's that one scene where you're like, wow, when I watch that movie again or I go see it in the movies again, that's the scene I'm going to see it for, and okay. that's what I want to see again. And there wasn't one scene in this movie that did that, that for me like at all. Stuck out. I want to yeah. see the wow. movie again as a whole because sure. I loved it, but uh, there wasn't like one scene that was crazy. And I think that's at, because of what you said before about how it was like just such a fast. You Pace almost movie feel like, that, like it, there's just so much shit going on where they didn't do anything epic, rather than like other than blowing right. up that like Death Star type thing, which yeah, kind of made a couple me of epic beats throw up end. a little bit, right? But there's nothing in the beginning that's like so kind of like super cool. It's like oh, I want to see that like yeah. some earlier stuff, like all the big big stuff. If yeah. anything, is that near the end? Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. It's it's more of like you know the, the feeling you get when you see the end with uh, Ray and. And Luke, and it's like, oh shit, you know, like what's yeah. this gonna lead to? It's it's more of like, what is this gonna lead to? Right. Then I want to see that happen again. Well, I'll tell you what's kind of sucked about that too is like all of a sudden like that happens, like you know she finds him, and it's like, oh, and it's like over, and I'm like, mm. I got another half an hour. Yeah. I mean, I got time. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll 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 we can do some of that. Yeah. And we could do a little bit. We can have them talk yeah. for a minute. I got time. Yeah. So, Say something. I mean, you know. I mean, yeah, that's why I was hoping there was a little post credit scene or something. But you know, yeah, a little bit. They don't do that shit. No, so. can't kept, blame them. You they know. kept the lights down in our theater too at yeah. first, and it was I like, stayed the whole time, bro, because I was what was oh, waiting for did? it. But yeah, see, I was gonna, I was sitting You're there, committed. sitting there, and everybody got up and left, and I was like, oh, I'm not sitting there like a dick by myself. Yeah, once then, the lights came like, on, I was like. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, that was my cue. All right, well, if they're turning the lights on, then there's probably nothing at the nah, end. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's they did that when I saw one of the Fast and Furious movies. And there was a button on the end? Or no? And they put the lights on, and then there was a fucking little post-credits thing. Yeah. I don't remember uh, which one it was. You can't always trust that, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But, I, I mean, you know, for the Marvel movies, they do that shit. Where yeah, it's like two yeah. They, yeah. they, they light. keep the, light, the lights yeah, off, it, you know? They know everybody knows that, too. So yeah. that's a regular thing. Right. Yeah. But, uh, you know, other than that, there was, you know... The, th- the thing with Han kind of pissed me off a little bit that they killed off Han Solo. All right, all right let's talk about. They had to. He's going to be dead by the next movie anyway. Uh, <laughs> I so feel is, like so is fucking <laughs> Luke. Him and I feel, Luke well, fucking. Like any of them, he just, he just wants them. to retire and be a grandfather to his kids. That's the and that's the exact problem I have with it. They killed off Han Solo not to service the fans but to service Harrison Ford. I feel like no, I think I th- they serviced the franchise I think, by doing that. In no, the I think end, they, in, I the think end they, in a way, I think they took away from the franchise. I think the film did personally. need a martyr. I think the film did need somebody important to die. The problem mm-hmm. is that, yeah. like, like you didn't no, cause need that, cause it because now it, you destroy you destroy Kylo Ren for everyone. With Darth Vader, Darth Vader didn't kill any of like the main characters okay. that we loved. Sure, he killed fucking Han fucking Solo, dude. <laughs> I can never like him as much as I like Darth Vader. Well, good. That'll I never. I hope happen. that you never do. I hope that you never do. And that's. I hope that was the idea with with them but that's having not, to do it. But that's that. not their idea. Well, maybe their idea is to well, make him Darth Vader and make you love him just as much. I think. I think the 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 idea, at least at this stage, with them setting this up, is probably to kind of set him up where he's conflicted and shit like that. Yeah. But maybe. 
the idea is Dude, of not if, doing exactly yeah, the same. Because I know what you're saying. It's but like, even if know. he comes back and he's like a good guy, then like he's on the light side now, he's right. reformed, I still will not like him. He always kills his father. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. I, I feel like I, I understand exactly where you're coming from because it's like a thing that they do nowadays. They like to kind of like rehabilitate all the bad yeah. guys, at least in their last moments where it's like, I know I'm dying. Which, and I realized I was wrong. I could Let see me them save do, you. I could see them bringing Kylo Ren back to where it's like, you know, he... Maybe jo- maybe he's like maybe he's not a Jedi, but he's helping. Say, but them. he's like kind of helping out a little bit, nah, like nah, anti-hero. Nah. I, I don't because see that. I think no, they do that. I almost watch just, I watch another Mo- uh, Star Wars movie. I, I, I feel well, the same. It's well, cheese ball, well, but I, I can see I mean, it being yeah, done. I agree. I, I can mean, see yeah. it being done because yeah. the villain. I feel like the villain setup for the rest of this trilogy mm-hmm. is Plagueis or um, whatever Where, his name Snoke. is, uh, Snoke. Right. I think he's going to end up being the main villain. Right, I don't think it's going to be definitely if they keep to three movies like they have been. Definitely by the last one, yes, because I think we have to find out everything about Kylo Ren within the second movie. Yeah, we're uh, definitely building and, towards and Kylo that. Ren. Like, is but, he that badass anymore? No, he was never badass. Ray kicked to begin the shit with. out of him. Yeah, I mean, he was never that badass to begin with. But then again, Darth I'm, I'm Vader talking about really like from a, from a point of like the trailers and the merchandising and everything. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, like the like way they, he, they painted the picture of the character. You know? Well, it's yeah. a similar... He's definitely yeah. supposed to oh, be he's the a next pussy. Sith Lord. Well, that's the know, thing with these movies, though. They end up kind of doing that a lot. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Where that, that's like when you look at Darth Vader, like, really hard. It's like, is he really that big of a deal? And Darth Maul, like, the most insidious-looking character mm. ever. Actually, a real fucking badass. Yeah. And, you know, he dies, like, right away. Yeah. I think this was, like, their way of saying, well, you know what? Since he, we are making him Han's kid, we do gotta want to keep him around. Give him the arc. I don't there's no other around. bad Jedi. There's no other dark side Jedi around as of yet to kind of be right. somebody worse than him yet. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's running around anyway. Snoke's not like yeah. you know trouble of the week kind yeah. of character. Like you know he is, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like, but I totally see what you're talking about because well, I, I can. The Snoke, the Snoke shows thing, and movies a lot do of that theories shit. Theories out there with like the dark, the Darth Plagueis thing, you know, mm-hmm. but. Supposedly, with the Darth Plagueis thing, like when um, Sidious killed Plagueis back right. way back when, mm-hmm. um, you know, if, not to get into it too much, but like the species of what it, beings that he's a part of, whatever it is, okay. I don't know exactly what it's called. When they die, they lose their body, but their soul like still floats around or some shit okay. like that, and oh, they right, could right, right. they could join, they could grab like you know anyone's body around and then they're okay. good okay pretty much okay so that's like the rumor on the web that like that oh, big palpatine that big dude yeah. is Hogram. darth plague is inside of snoke's body i got you oh, okay. okay so that could be a nice yeah. reveal i mean that's right. another and that's why it. he's a hologram because that's why he portrays himself so big because yeah. he's like a little mealy worm I, I, I guess so. I don't really know what the original figure of Darth Plagueis really was. If he was just like a normal sized guy, or sure. if he was a little like you little know golem looking dude or what, whatnot. But uh, yeah, right. I have to look into that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You do some yeah. research. Fucking wheel. Jesus Christ. Really? What the hell are we bringing here for? I don't know. <laughs> free shirt. I'm forgetting. I don't know. Free, free, free shirt. Away. Yeah, you we got to earn yeah, that free shirt yeah, now. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Well, I had you come here so I can give you stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what friends are for. Come on. Yeah. I guess. T-shirt for a ride to a freaking movie. For T-shirts. For tickets. Mm-hmm. I paid for my ticket. Enough. Fuck that. So, <laughs> true. Fair enough for a t-shirt. So, what's next on the list here? So, next on the list, I mean, we've been bouncing around. I mean, right. we kind of hit a lot of this stuff, but um, I was kind of surprised at uh, oh, the Harrison lack Ford of Phasma. Yeah, we didn't get as much Phasma. I thought we were gonna get. I mean, end up kind of being like a dud of a character where it's like looks cool. Another one of these ones mm-hmm. where it looks like really cool. She never actually gets a helmet off. Right. And then in the end, she ends up being kind of just like, they put a gun to her head, punch in the passcode. Okay, we're done with you. Bye. Yeah. Well, I heard a thing where it's, where uh, it, someone was saying that they didn't choose that actress, Gwendolyn Christie from Game of Thrones. Initially. They right. didn't choose her before they wrote, you know, wrote the character mm-hmm. and like her plan for the movie. Uh, J.J. Abrams says that if he would have known that she was going to be the actress to play Phasma, mm-hmm. he would have kind of created a little bit more of a... We'll bigger see. role for her sure. maybe not let her go down as quick as she did Fair enough, towards yeah. the end there right, right, right. so that's it like i can excuse yeah, that right yeah, there yeah, but yeah, uh, right. like without knowing that i would 
kind of be a little yeah, skeptical. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, because I kind of felt like it too. I mean, I saw other people pointed out too. That they make her be like, like the big fucking general or whatever she is. Yeah, and like, she goes down real easy. She goes down end. real easy, and it was like one of these things too, where like you know, obviously some people are spinning it because she's a female, and it's like, oh, you finally put a female in this role, and then she gets relegated to just being a fucking bump on a log, even though she's supposed to be big. And it's like, it doesn't even matter if it's a female in the role, really, as far as this goes. Because I guarantee it was a some character. people didn't even know she was a female. No, absolutely not. They're probably like, that's a weird fucking way to modulate your voice. Yeah. Um, which I'm using right now. Can you tell? <laughs> and then she lets the fucking uh, she lets the guards down. Yeah, like at she, least die for the fucking. Uh, really, you're the general. Like, yeah, like a real yeah. softy. Like yeah. you know, like I, I was kind of confused. That's the thing with yeah, some yeah. of the movie too is that there are these moments where it's like just Loaded just to kind of keep it all rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just kind of live another ignore. day, fight tomorrow. Yeah, Maybe it's yeah. that. Maybe it's yeah. that. But I would have rather have said these that little, than these little flaws to. to to keep things moving. Yeah. Exactly. These little there's kind of contradictions of and these logic holes. You know, there's, there's a good amount of it. You know what I mean? Obviously, uh, part of it is the whole, you know, travel too, but let's not get into yeah. the science of it. Um, Many chlorines. <clears throat> there you go. It's all that shit. It's all magic. Um, so, with that, I think that maybe we're coming near the end of here, but I just want to say that, uh, mm. you know, looking forward to the sequels. Yes. Episode 8 and 9. You know, is there anything that maybe uh, I mean we kind of did a touch a little bit on it, uh, predicting yeah, a, a lot, lot of th- th- a lot of people are forgetting that fucking uh, the spinoff movies coming out mm-hmm. relatively soon. Then we got like one. almost uh, it's actually less than a year now. Leo, December sixteenth, twenty sixteen. Rogue uh, One is coming out. <laughs> so what bro, are you talking about? So mm-hmm. you remember like in that other Star Wars movie when they were like we we got the plans to the Death Star so uh-huh. we can blow it up. Okay. We had a special mm-hmm. kind of covert mm-hmm. mission okay. that went right. in okay. to get those plans. Right. Okay. They're making a movie about that operation, about that mission to go steal those plants. Yeah. And it's called Rogue One. Okay. And that'll come out about next year. And, um, and is, is it official Star Wars movie? Oh, or? for words, son, for words. I think it's titled, word. I think it's titled Rogue One, um, a Star Wars story. Make money, money, make like money, money, yeah. money, money, so, make money, 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 exactly. make money, money. I just looked it up. Yeah. So the universe money. is so big, man, they're going to do so much with this. So their plan, Disney Leo, is, like is, um, yeah, is at this point every I bet year, you, I bet every you, year have a Star Wars I movie. I bet you Lucas is kicking himself in the ass because he could have did that for the last 30 years. But, you know, there, there are a lot he of... He would have fucked it up, but he if, knows he would have fucked it up. If you look around online and shit, there is a lot of different Star Wars movies, like The Return of Darth Maul and this, that. They're, well, there's a fair amount not, of stuff. You know, they're not... Uh, yeah, well, they call that the extended universe. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Some it's not like Mars, official... Uh, yeah, but... Le- and know, supposedly... But you can pay attention to the... Well, sure. It does... Some of those movies actually... When you watch another movie, you're like, oh, okay, this is what this guy's yeah. talking about. Well, yeah, those they, movies can all play within their own kind of well you mm-hmm, know what i mean mm-hmm. but that's really it like anything from the films yeah they can use and they can play amongst themselves but yeah. nothing really from those shows is going to ever influence the movies like because okay. I mean? like with but the canon now moving forward like all those old books all that stuff is just legends now yeah and they used to never tie together but that happened when disney bought star wars when disney bought star wars they said either we it. we buy this from you or we we buy this from you we get rid of the extended shit or we don't buy it from you, and you make a movie that's, you know, tied in with the extended universe, which like the real diehard Star Wars fans wanted, because now a bunch of them are fucking crying that like all those video games and the books they used to read as yeah. kids, yeah, they mean shit. They mean shit now. But they this, always did. Movies. They're losing. The, they're missing the fact also too. Some of them that like Lucas always said that the only things I that are truly fuck, not yeah. me either, but that Lucas like always said that the only things that really count is any of the stuff that's talked about in the movies. Mm. Everything else is maybe we'll pick from it, maybe we won't, but it's it's fine. Do whatever you want, but it doesn't count as much as the movies. It's never going to be truly canon. And now what Disney is saying is that all that stuff is legend, and anything that we make now that's going to be the novels or the video games or cartoons or books is all going to count. It's all going to really count, and it's going to be mapped out in a way where like it matters. So, like, if you want to know what happened in between the movies, and there's a book, and there's a novel that comes out, that's, like, Bible. That's that's guaranteed to matter and count. Like, you know what I mean? And it's going to be overseen by the committee. They, this they could do gonna... that now. You know, Disney could do something mm-hmm. like that, but they wouldn't count the shit that's already out. Well, know? that's what I mean. There's a cutoff yeah. point for them. Yeah. There's a cutoff point, like, when they purchased that. Like, the only two things that count that are still being made is that Rebels show that's already right. running. Yeah. And, um... That novel, um, <clears throat> not Shattered Empire, that's the comic book for mm. Marvel, but the Marvel comics count. Mm. But um, there was this novel, that the last novel that came out for Star Wars. I, I really don't know. what I, I never read out. any of them. I, it I was, really... It's actually sometime in the last couple of months. It came okay. out. But I mean, that book, 
the Rebels TV show. I think the only things that are pre-existing. And that, that Rebels are, are TV show official. has nothing to do with the regular shit. It's all fucking. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it's side characters. Yeah. It's got to do with clones and yeah. stuff like that. And Darth Maul comes back to life and that and shit. Mm-hmm. But that's like the only one that's like super official. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah. the rest of it kind of fucking lingers. And when's that come out next year? Is it? The, the movie you were talking the about? Rogue One. Rogue, yeah. Rogue One. Yeah, it comes out next year. Like less than a year. I think it's December 16th, so technically so, less than a year. Yeah. Nice. So basically that's their plan, though, is like every year have some kind of Star Wars thing. Every two years it'll be the main trilogy, and every year in the middle of the, like, you know, off yeah. on, off on. I, I, so it's, like, it's going to be some yeah. random stuff. So I think it's going to be like Rogue One 2016, episodes, episode 8 uh, 2017, and then, episode, and then uh, 2018 Han Solo origin film. Yeah, Han, either Han Solo or Boba Fett, whichever one they move on yeah. first. I think. Yeah, Boba Fett, they should go first. Yeah, but maybe they'll do the Han one first because it's like, oh, if we get old Harrison Ford to kind of do bookend stuff, get somebody young to play him when he's young. Well, supposedly Harrison Ford said, I read an article on Bleeding Cool a couple of days ago that Harrison Ford was like, I want and have nothing to do with the Han Solo uh, right, right. origin film. He was right. like, you know, they could do it. He was like, I'll go see it in the movies. I'll yeah, appear at all the... You know, all the appearances and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, but I, I don't want anything to do with the movie. Yeah, I'm not filming it. Yeah. He's, he's fucking done. That guy's been cranky and old for a long time. Yeah, yeah but they, they this movie here, they, they bought him off. Like, you know, here's your last check. See you later. Yeah, and don't he get probably me wrong. got paid some stupid amount of money. Doesn't he even have to. He dies in the movie, and that's it. See you later. Yeah, you know? it doesn't even have it's... to. But they, like, they've known that he was always going to be in favor of that because mm-hmm. he kind of wanted to do that in the first trilogy. Yeah. He, it was always an idea. He was like, well, right. hey, well I that's should, why should... he was encased in carbonite in, yeah. in the first trilogy. <laughs> yeah. Like, Lucas really wanted to kill him off. Uh, I mean, he really wanted to get killed off. Lucas wasn't sure. And, and uh, you know, everybody was like, ah, don't do it. Don't do it. So he put him in the carbonite. This way, in case he didn't get him to come back easily. He could yeah, just, he write it in. He could just leave it like he's just yeah, stuck he in the carbonite. Yeah, he could still be stuck in there. He's just stuck in there. We never get him out, you know? <laughs> Look at my new table I got. Yeah. It's Han Solo and carbonite. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Luke and Chewbacca every day eating breakfast on Han's face. Yeah, like, yeah, One yeah. day we'll get you out of here. I swear, man. We'll figure it out. Wait, this isn't carbonite. This is chocolate. You know, fucking, you gotta wipe him down. Yeah. And get all gunk caught get up. Get out his, the pledge. You know, in his ear hole, his eye socket, and stuff, and so cleaning ladies all creeped out. That's funny. It's like I don't like your table. I You're want so that creepy. table. So um, <laughs> you can get a little refri- mini fridge now that uh, fits about a six pack of beer. Sure. That's just hot and solo. Really? On the, on the face mm-hmm. of it, yeah. Like it's right. molded. It's not like a decal. It's actually like molded. I saw Bendis post a picture on Instagram the other yeah, day with like a one. full-sized one, like yeah, regular fucking yeah. refrigerator. Like, like, yeah, crazy. some crazy limited. One of you loyal fans should send one here to oh, Wicked yeah. Theory. Oh, really? sure. Oh, yeah. For the studio. <laughs> yeah, if you send one it, up, sure. send it sure. up. Sure, email me. I'll give you an address. Yeah, sure. That'll happen. Yeah. Just make sure you pay the shipping. Mm-hmm. We're the shop, we, we, we ain't. So back to... Um, we're the shot. Come on. Um, is there anything else, really? I don't well, know. I just want to say that that the Han Solo fucking, you know, spinoff movie. Yeah. Does it really need to happen now? Do we want it to happen now? Mm. I don't know. No. I, th- I, think I don't, that's, I don't I think, care, really. Anymore. No, maybe not us. You know what I mean? But I think for the hardcores, that's like their last grasp now. Now they're going to be like, well, if he's dead, I need a Han Solo movie now mm. to get some more Han in my life. <laughs> Okay, but and it's like, what Han are you going to get? Are you going to get somebody else playing Han you're Solo that you're some... not going to be happy with? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Or are you going to exactly. get geriatric Han Solo that doesn't really want to do the movie in the first place? Either way, you lose. <laughs> the real right. problem I have with it is that also, but it's more of like, you know. What's to w- tell? You're telling me an origin story of a guy whose fate I already know. And you're telling me you know an origin I mean? story like, for a guy who fuck? doesn't have a compelling origin, I wouldn't think. Not like, at all. He's a swashbuckler. What are they he's a rogue. Show? Okay. It's going to be a pirate movie in fucking the Star Wars universe. And don't get me it's going to be Pirates Pretty of the much. Caribbean in fucking and Star don't get me wrong. There you go. That there you alone go. sounds Pirates like... Pirates of the Rebellion. Yeah. It's sounding better and better now that you guys yeah, describe yeah. it. Right? <laughs> That's it. I'm now, like, Hollywood wait, wait, Captain yeah. Jack Solo. Yeah. I'm waiting. Like, wait, maybe we'll really find out how he got the beard, Falcon. right? I mean, yeah, it all yeah, right, fits. Right. Yeah, I can uh, see Captain, Captain Jack. Solo. They have those in that fucking if, universe. For absolutely. Sure. Some you know, if you could find basketball. out really how he got the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> well, I think that's whose was it first? I, I was it Lando's? Was it, it, it his? I think know? it's like this kind of thing where it's like figure out, find out how he met Chewie, yeah. how he got the Millennium Falcon, why he shot first, whose vest that really is, and like, whose vest is that? That's that's. And why was he there at Mos Eisley that day? I started turning it into the whole uh, Indiana Jones. Who's best? Where, like, he stole his. Right. How Indiana Jones wasn't very original. He actually stole his whole look from some other guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is what happens when you get too much backstory on stuff. Yeah. It gets watered down. Midichlorians. So, <laughs> the lesson from that. There you go. So, kids, I think that's kind of like a wrap. 
I mean, I don't know if I got anything else to say that would just be kind of repeating myself a little bit. Mm-hmm. Liked the movie a lot. It's got a couple of bumps. I'm sure there's other fans out there picking it apart a lot harder than we are because they just know it Can't way satisfy too good. Anybody, you know? And Not certain everybody. guys are never going to get happy. Yeah. Look, I don't, I don't begrudge. I also don't begrudge anybody who might be a fan and they're like annoyed that Han died because that's like an important character to them because I get that. Yeah. My bond with him maybe is not as deep, so it doesn't bother me. And I also feel like I come from a different place with killing off characters, like where it's like sometimes it's a necessary thing and sometimes it's just it's just it's cathartic in a way where like, you know, what's the option? What's the other option? That these guys are just gonna live forever? Or that he's going to get to a point where he dies in real life and we have to just kind of have some off-screen death where it's like we just, op- yeah, we just open up a movie with a, uh, with a, with a, with a memorial. Know, yeah, a memorial. And it's yeah, all, well, that, you know, I, you know uh, that would have been better in this movie than having him on there, I think. I think, like, you know, like you were saying about being a Han Solo fan. Okay. Like, I like Han Solo, you know, in the sure. original movies and everything, but his he killed the character before they killed before they killed the character in the movie for really? me, I thought when he, he was came great up, in this one. No, was there was the the, the one oh, scene man. where where he I gets the Millennium Falcon back. Yeah. That was the only scene I feel warranted as Han Solo. Okay, the rest of it was like moving along. It, it was like yeah, like going. change your tampon and die already. Like well, he's uh, old now. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, but that that sucks for me as a. Uh, original Star Wars, you know, the, the, the sand, four, five, and six fan, you know, like that. It is a harsh dose of reality in a way where it's like, well, how do you play it then? Because like, the guy is getting old; he's he's not going to be as believable as much anymore. You know, he can hardly buy him as if anybody buys him as Indiana Jones. Still, I, I, I you must I just I, I don't know what your yeah. prescription on your glasses is <laughs> and how it's affecting your fucking glasses, brain, Alice. but. But yeah, it's, a, think, it's a valid thing where it's like, how do you address it? How do you move on? And if he's willing to fucking die off and it's easy to fucking kill him uh, and yeah, somebody yeah. else and it works to the story point of I'm, making now everybody fucking want that kid dead for killing Han Solo. Sure. Good enough. Yeah. You know well, what I'm I mean? Personal, I'm talking. No, but I, and, I, and, I, and I get that too. And I get that too. It's like, you know, yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it's a sad day in the fucking universe. A long time ago, far, far away. I mean, you know, moment of silence. You gotta for remember Han that Solo. too. This happened a long time ago. <laughs> well, far away. We didn't have a moment of silence for Han Solo. Oh, okay, a little moment, a moment. Silence. That counts. That's it. We had it. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is the end, Bob. You can uh, warm us up a little bit, bringing us in. As I shut the doors on this, another fine episode, Leo. I want to tell you again how amazing it was to thank have you, you on Leo. the show. Thank you, thank have, you. I had have, a great time. To have you not only rock the quiz like like nobody's ever done here in, in these 30-something episodes. Nice. But you fucking came on. You held your own. You rocked with it. Fucking you talked up the shit here with some Star Wars stuff, bro. You couldn't have had a better first appearance. Coming uh, back, great. Sure. Which, which I know implies that you'll be back again. Maybe, we got, maybe, we got maybe, a lot for Rogue One maybe, in episode maybe. eight. Right. So there we go. At we got least, you once least. a year you for the next th- uh, two years. All right. All right. All right. We're going to do that. And then uh, if you kids want to fucking hear any more of us or find us or anything like that, you can go to wickedtheory.com. If you want to find us on Twitter, you can follow Dom. He's at Dom underscore Tory, T-O-R-R-E. I'm on the Twitters as well. At Wicked Theory. Thank you, sir. Bob's on there at Bob W-T-P-C. Bob at. Bob at. W-T-P-C. W-T-P-C. And then um, Leo is a vagabond. He's a mercenary. He's Peace. A, you know, you're not going to find him anywhere. That's it. He's gone. That's all right. He's just poof. Like the wind. Suck it. And Bob, take us out of here whenever you're all ready, Freddy. Suck it, Bob.
as Dong are too. You can't have whooping cough. Droids don't get dangerous diseases like whooping cough or measles, but children do, and they can get very sick, even die. R2, let me tell them. Parents of Earth, childhood diseases can be prevented. Call your doctor or local health department. Immunize your children, please. And may the force be with you.